Hello there, you guys. Welcome back to Memory. Hope everyone's having a fantastic Tuesday thus far. We are doing another camless stream. Uh, I showered this morning. My hair is still not dry, so it was just kind of a really chill day, I think. Um, I think audio should be just fine. I haven't touched it, <laughs> so hopefully everything's good. Um, but you guys can definitely let me know as per usual. Welcome on in, everyone. How's everyone doing today? I'm gonna wait for the confirmation before I scroll up. <laughs> Audio's good, thank you. Thank you, okay. Um, so... Who else? Let me see here. Animal Crossing Switch, Jacob, Kitty Cat, Misguided M, Red Arrow. Um... In... In Yad... In Yadro? I don't know if I'm saying your name right, but thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Uh, Zach, welcome back. Gamer Pie, hello. Lindenbach, how are you doing? Sammy, um... What else have we got in here? Pepper and Random, of course. Saucy Simmer, hello. Um, Lizzie, welcome back. How are you doing? Um, do, do, do. Cool World, of course. How are you doing today? There's so much talking before I went live. <laughs> Duddles, hello, hello. Um, Rosie, welcome back. Perfect Lester, how are you doing? Storm Saints, hello. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry if my voice starts to cut out, by the way, today, you guys, my throat is feeling a little bit scratchy. <laughs> um, and there's all this love in chat. My goodness, CGW, Andrew, hello, welcome on in, you guys. Uh, Mike, welcome back. Sarah Monster, hello. Bun Bun, <laughs> or Bun Buns, sorry, hello, how are you doing? And thank you, Pepper, thank you. Castbot, how are you doing? Swagmoo, welcome on in. Um, Katarina? Randomuma, welcome back. Nezno, Daki, hello. Dinoko. Um, and Yadro, am I saying your name right? Let me know. Let me know. I just want to make sure I'm not like butchering your username here. Nisha Crossing, welcome back. Rocket Blasters, hello. Mary.com. Uh, Gamer Nea, hello. Hello. Katharina, hello. Uh, Oh no, I mispronounced that one. Casario, my apologies. I was just like, wait, that didn't sound right. <laughs> I know that name. Um, almost right? Okay. Well, I got it. I got it kind of close. Um, oh, Zach, you were confused why there was no audio. Okay. Uh, Sleepy Pluto, hello, Zach. Don't worry, by the way. I always act. Mike actually, he always mutes my tabs and he doesn't tell me. And then I'm like freaking out thinking that my speakers have died somehow. Um, Claire, welcome on in here. RJW, hello. Bree, welcome back. Karina, hello. Um,. Playing New Leaf now, I hope you're enjoying it. You saying Crystal Boot Up Stardew even though stream starts in like 20 minutes? Shh, I was waiting for us to go live. Okay, listen. My Stardew itch is real. <laughs> Angels, hello, how are you doing? Ghostpot, hello, welcome on in. Fudge Monkey. Um, we're nearly there, you guys. We're nearly there. Just got done playing some New Leaf, finally got my gold watering can in Gracie's store. Very nice, very nice. Ariel, hello. Adam, welcome back. Molly Moo. Enya? Pronounce like the Irish singer's name. I, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't heard of them before. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I hopefully I'm saying that correctly now, but uh Panda Lover, welcome back. Let me see. Giraffe Raff, welcome back in here. Robot Ninja, hello. How are you guys all doing today? I think I got everyone. Sarah, you are more than welcome to for sure. If, and if I can't answer them, maybe someone else in chat definitely can. Minecraft yesterday and I couldn't stop playing long. Glad you're enjoying it. Oh, hi Liz. <laughs> uh, is it Vanessa? Vanessa Nessa? Am I saying your username right? Welcome on in. How are you doing? Thank you so much for that follow. Um, Brooksy, hello. How are you doing? Well, Vanessa, welcome on in. Thank you so very much for for checking out the stream. Welcome on in, everyone. Um, so. Today, you guys, we are going to be focusing on dailies, but I have uh, a couple ideas, suggestions, and I kind of want to bounce it off you guys for the future of this Welcome to Memory stream and series, just because we are going to be playing through this game until March 19th, 2020, so <laughs> well, you better find some stuff to do, that's pretty much what I'm, what I'm saying. Um, Elvis, hello, Wobble Tea, how's it going? Angel Rita, welcome back, you guys. Welcome on in, everyone. Um, but yeah, first and foremost, you guys, dailies. We gotta make sure our villagers are happy and no one's gonna, like, yeet themselves out of my village, because that would be really bad. 
Um, let me go ahead and switch on over into our ACNL screen here for you guys. Um, and yeah, our main street is looking really, really, really done, <laughs> which I'm so proud of. I haven't had a fully done main street in so long. We could die more. Gamer pie, it's very tempting, trust me. Ah, oh, well, hot cocoa, I'm, I'm hoping you enjoyed them. I'm assuming you did if you're binging them, but <laughs> you never know. Uh, Max, hello, how's it going? Seems like a bit away, but Lord knows it'll fly in. I'm, that game is going to be here before we know it. <laughs> Uh, skinny legend, hello, how are you doing? Welcome back. Uh, okay, so we finished the chair sculpture, which if you guys uh, don't know, that one is actually the one that looks like a giant boot. Um, much thanks to the mods for helping me finish that one, because <laughs> it was expensive. Uh, Luna, hello, you just finished eating breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? Most important question. Um, so we can go check out what that looks like right now. Finally got purple tulips today, very nice. Is he simmer? You enjoy that? Here it is, you guys. So here is our <laughs> I should have sat here for the beginning of the stream. Here's our giant boot. Um The flowers around it work quite well, but I might still change them up a little bit. We'll have to see. <laughs> oh Sarah, thank you, thank you. Um Elvis, thank you so very much for that prime 13-month reset. That's very much appreciated. Let me go ahead and put some love in chat. Which villager type gives the boot? I'm honestly not certain that I remember. Does anyone remember who suggested this public works project to you guys? Because I certainly don't. Looks like a very comfy boot. It's very large. It's one of my favorite just like random public works projects. Was it Colton? Okay, so Colton is a smug type villager. I don't know if it's any type of villager can recommend it or if it's just the smugs one or just the smug ones, but um, a lot of people think it was Colton who suggested it, so. Oh, hi, Bob. Oh, excuse you. Hi. <laughs> I didn't get the chance to talk to him. So what can I do for you? Oh, he wanted, he wanted furniture. Right, we can do that, but I want to actually talk to him. It's smug since Zell suggested it to you also. Okay, also. Perfect. Um, is this the boot that gives the boot? <laughs> There's a dig bot spot by retail? Yes, I don't uh, want to grab it just yet. We will in just a second though. Um, restock my blueberry muffins. Oh my goodness, Adam, I am a little bit jelly. You know what, I'll take it, buddy. played ACNL in months and yet my less than favorite villagers still haven't moved. Oh no, <laughs> they're stuck with you. Okay, so Bob is happy now. We made sure that he is taken care of. I really need to finish the black roses back here so I don't have to check back here for fossils anymore. Next day in Stardew is the Dance of the Moonlight Jealous and I get emotional every time, but I'm being patient waiting till stream ends. Okay, no shame though if you wanna if you wanna view that during stream, I I wouldn't judge you for it. Linda Bach, I think Random just posted in chat that we're having issues with the Discord link at the moment. Okay, let me see here. Oh, Sarah Monster, yeah, uh, Discord is kind of like a private, it is, you could look at it as a chat room and you can have it as an app or on the browser. Uh, and we have like one that's specific to my community where, you know, my, the mods and myself has set up different voice chat rooms or text chat rooms based on different uh, aspects of our community, I guess, for people to chat. It's pretty fun. It's really good. Um, Hi, Crystal. Have you ever taken a nap under a tree? It starts out really peaceful, but then an inconsiderate person comes along and shakes the tree. Falling fruit hurts. I feel like we've gotten this letter from Cube, like, several times now. <laughs> oh, right, we bought, uh, donuts <laughs> from, from the campground, right. I was like, what is this impulse purchase here? All texting or is it voices too? It can it can be uh, voice and text chat, but for a long time we just had text chat in mind. Recently we've uh, added in a couple voice rooms as well. 
Uh, my dear Crystal, I found something that will change your life. It's an item with the power to make you fabulous, but I can hear you asking how I know. It's called a woman's intuition from Astrid. I swear to goodness, I'm so excited. What did she send me? A blue zap helmet. Awesome. <laughs> um, I'm just going to get rid of these letters here real quick. And the donut, of course. Suddenly I want donuts. <laughs> um, okay, so I don't really know where I want to put this donut. I might just put it away for now, because I don't really have a good place to put it. Also, I don't know why this song is playing. This is not what's usually playing in my house. <laughs> Also, your girl needs to organize her, uh, her furniture again. I have too much. There we go. This is the one that we got, I think, on Saturday night? Saturday night? Saturday night. There we go. Couldn't say that. <laughs> from, uh, from KK. And it's the old song I used to have in my, uh, in my house. Oh, Luca, yeah. Oh, whoa, what did I just grab? What did I grab? Cabin wall clock. I didn't even know I had that. I already have that up there, actually. I have a duplicate, so I'll just sell that one, I guess. <laughs> Max. <laughs> Then the box my DS was in, and now I'm working on bugs and fish and stuff and doing public works projects. Awesome! I'm glad that you found it. Okay. Now let's start doing our usual dailies. That was not what I expected that to be, but I'll take it. Hi, Dagger. Welcome on in. You guys are just joining us. Uh, I have plans for today is pretty much to do dailies. I want to see if we can do the diving trick to maybe get a new public works project, unless someone wants to suggest one. <laughs> Uh, we're just getting around. I've been talking about you behind your back. Think it's true? Yes, of course. What? Who told you? Well, never mind. I never say anything bad. How could I? You're so amazing. It's more like I compliment you behind your back. Oh, I didn't think that's what she would, uh, what she would say to that. Um, I need to go drop off some of my bells. Ooh, Red is here at the bank machine. Hi, Titus. How are you doing today? Watching the upload streams of memory and then coming to the live stream and seeing the progress is so pleasing. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I really am. Astrid might have gotten some brownie points. A little bit. A little bit. Okay, so... No, I don't want to withdraw. I want to... Deposit. Count down the minutes until work is over. How about yourself? Oh, I feel that. Um, I'm doing pretty good. It's been a really relaxing day. I did some chores this morning. I recorded a video for YouTube, which was great because I haven't done that in a while. Um, and overall it's been... Wait. Do I just keep hitting withdraw? What am I doing? Deposit. Uh, RJW, probably not today. I'm not sure, though. There we go. This is what I get for trying to talk while I'm doing stuff. Can't do it. Uh, cast spot, they do start spawning normally in the fall, but if you have these special stumps, the mushrooms will spawn all year round, from my understanding. Really need to get some more bug hunting in? Yeah, that's another thing that is a possibility for today's stream. We're gonna have to see. We are very low on moments. Yes, yes, we are. Um, but now I have a little bit more space in my pockets. How did I? Eh, whatever. It's fine. It's better than before. Talking is dangerous. Don't do. I can't focus on this many things at once, you guys. This is hard for me. <laughs> Oh, 
So, I've been curious how you've been decorating lately. Mind if I go to your house? Do you want to go, like, right now? Okay, awesome. Good. Oh, Girls Who's Luka, did you enjoy it? I hope you did. Platinum playthrough inspired me to start a new playthrough with a team based on my Hero Academia. I hope you're enjoying that as well, Dagger. I'm happy there's a lot of people who've been joining me in going through maybe some of the older or just Pokemon games in general. All right, Astrid, so here's my... My home. <laughs> I, I, I'm not very proud of it, but it's here. Okay, let's see if she wants to leave quickly or not. Oh, Adam, very nice. Okay, she wants to look at another room. She doesn't like my gaming room, but that's fine. Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby games aren't my favorite, but I want to beat them. Yeah, I actually really enjoyed them. Um, I think they're... I, I whatever Whenever uh, they've done a remake of an older Pokemon game, generally I always enjoy it a lot. <laughs> Thing. There's not a single thing on any of your walls. Okay, she's gonna nitpick about my walls then. That's fine. She's not even gonna check out all of her neighbor's pictures. No? <laughs> Random. Oh, Max, that's so cute. I should, I should do that if Bob asked me to come over one day. You drill the room, do something that will bring up a chat box. What? What do you mean? I like chairs, and I really do love what you've got going on here. But she, I think Kangaroo Monthly says that anything that stands on four legs is a step backwards in design. Decide, let you know. I'm gonna tell. Actually, none of your, none of our villagers stand on four legs. They stand on two. I'm still gonna tell everyone though. Uh, Linden Box, sorry, I don't know what you're- what whispers you're talking about. It, I'm assuming it wasn't from me since I'm- I don't whisper people. <laughs> oh, random, that's so cute. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait until she leaves, honestly, you guys. Nice but challenging? Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at a picture, then you'll leave? You think so? Let's look at Astro's picture. Well, she still seems rather interested in that turtle up there. Imagine for like villagers, that would be something. It would be a very different game almost. It would feel really, really different. I'm so used to seeing everyone standing on two legs that it didn't strike me as weird that like Colton's a horse and he should be on four, but he's not. <laughs> Uh, Lindenbach, no, you can click on the picture and get a description of it. You have a little turtle uh, tell me his name is Donatello. I don't know if we actually gave him a name. He's just kind of... He's actually looking at Midge's picture right now. Okay, we're going back downstairs, Astrid. You, you best be leaving soon. I can leave the house, but I feel guilty doing it. I like to wait until they leave. <laughs> oh, Luca, how do you enjoy it? His streams are really chill. Squirt from Finding Nemo. Hi, Rainsworld. How are you doing today? So you've made yourself very comfortable in here. It's so inviting. See, I remember people telling me, like, oh, like, you know, if you sit down, eventually they'll leave. Why is there a plant there? That's not where I left that. <laughs> Peachy Merman, thank you so much for the host. There we go. People used to tell me if you sit down, eventually she'll leave. Perfect. Okay, back out to dailies now that we're done with that. The British chair saved us. <laughs> 
Okay, back to what we were doing. Um, oh, hello. So, what have you guys been up to today? What have you guys been doing? I, I was saying earlier, I did some chores this morning and I also worked on uh, actually two different YouTube videos, which has been great. Um, and a lot of behind the scenes stuff. But other than that, I made lunch, I had pasta, and it was really good. Or what have you guys been up to? Oh, Stargazers, I'm glad that you got both. That's awesome. Sleeping and eating? Heck yeah. Hi, Matsuri, how are you doing? Work playing New Leaf? Nice. Being to a zoo that actually has good animal housing. I mean, that's good. I hear that Blue Bear is thinking about moving. No, she's not. <laughs> we are gonna go change her mind real quick. Yeah, cool. I agree. It does look very nice. No worries, Ariel. We'll see you later. You did some Stardew. <laughs> some mini muffins this morning. Heck yeah. Uh, finished your town. Very nice. Played Platinum and I finally finished all Club Tortimer Icon commissions. Very nice. Very nice. Yes, those are amazing. I love all of them. Okay, let's chat to Midge as well. 12 consecutive day work streak and now I have two days off. Nice. Nice. I read that as you yelling, which is even- it makes it even more like euphoric almost. <laughs> I was talking to Blueberry not long ago and she mentioned she- okay. I get it. I get it. She's thinking of moving. We're gonna go fix that. <laughs> Not as ugly right now, but improving, I hope. As long as you're you're happy with it, and as long as you're working on it, that's the main two things, right? All right, I don't have to go down there anymore. I always go down there, because I'm so used to watering my hybrids down there, but we don't really uh, have any that we're working on down there at the moment. Ah, uh, Nesho, for sure. I, always, I tend to, I, I'm bad. I just work myself to the ground, essentially, and then I'll feel maybe a little bit better. <laughs> Um, I wouldn't recommend it. Roxy, thank you so very much for that two month resub. Love and chat, you guys. That emo. That little smiley face is so cute. Thank you so very much, Boxies. It's very much appreciated. Today's fight is shaping up to be an epic bout. In one corner, we have Crystal from Memory. And in the other corner, we have a blue Marlin from uh, the water. Who will triumph? Uh, can we catch blue Marlins right now, you guys? Does anyone know? I'll catch it for him if it's available at the moment, but sometimes they ask for fish or bugs that can't actually be caught during the time that you're playing. Okay, no fossils. Astro. Blue bear. Oh, no, that's Phoebe. Hey, you. You really got your own cabin wall clock. See? Now that's interesting. I put an order in for the same type of item, but when I got it, it turned out to be a fake. Uh, you can you can have it. I think so. I'm pretty sure there's summertime. <laughs> Random. Uh, no, I'll give it to you for free. It's cool. Got one a few days ago, I think. Oh, Clementine, you don't have to worry about that. You honestly don't. I can catch it? Okay. Don't you need that for the museum? Um, no. The only- I have like a couple fish I need left and none of them are that one, thankfully. Really, wasn't that the painting you gave us? You're right, she did give us a fake painting. So it's kind of karma that she got, you know, a fake, uh, a fake <laughs> cabin wall clock in, in return there, but... Uh, restart my time travel town yesterday because everyone was moving onto the same area and it was too crowded to get around. Oh, yes. That's really frustrating when villagers move into just poor spots. <laughs> Remember to look for a big fish in the water? Well, you know what? Why don't we do that right now? 
Dude, like, walk locks are the worst. <laughs> Little did we know, it's a, it's a serious issue in this game, apparently. I just uploaded a selfie to my Facebook and I just checked that my last selfie was before today. It was last year, August. So, I mean, that's perfect. Like, a year... A year between the two. Just finished my lunch breakfast. I made fried eggs, toast with peanut butter, and cut bananas on top with a side of peach yogurt. Oh my goodness, that sounds really good. I'd be down for that. I have Bob in my town and he's best friends with Mo. Why not Punchy? What's wrong with Mo? What, what do you got wrong with Mo? <laughs> um, Haru the Mighty, thank you so very much for the host. That's very much appreciated. All right, let's just catch anything we see, I guess. We can always sell it for bells. If that fish would pay attention to me. Preparing for Nana to move out. So I'm planting flowers around her home. So when she moves, I can place a campsite there. Ooh, very nice, very nice. Lee, hello, how are you doing? Welcome back. Oh, Clementine, thank you so very much for the sub. Love and chat, you guys. Okay. So you guys said the blue marlin was quite a large fish, right? We might have to do a, a couple save continues if it's more of a rare one, but... <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Is a lazy villager for... Which for me is Crackle, but for Americans apparently is Spork. Is this true? Yes. Um, I know him as Spork, and I found out that his name is different, I believe, in the European versions of Animal Crossing when I was watching a streamer, and he referred to him as Crackle, and I'm like, that's weird. I've had Spork, and I've known Spork since I was a kid. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that, that was a very interesting occurrence. I think there's a couple different villager names who change here and there. Oh my goodness, Harry, that is such a cute emote. <laughs> is it more common on the island? It's like seal account size. All right, cool. Um, we can always try the island later, I guess. Oh, wait, that's a big fish. That might be a, a sea bass, though. It looks like one, actually. But where's Snap and Pop? Hey, RK Kelly, how are you doing today? Welcome on in. Fish, fork. What, where's spoon, fork, and knife? <laughs> you get a lot more on the island? Okay. Well, I'll catch a couple more, and if not, then we can just go, uh... Go to the island. I'm not too fussed about that. We get to listen to Captain's awesome songs. Get to be chill. Hi, Kelly B. How are you doing? Welcome back as well. Chris Crispy, stop quaking. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna go sell off all this then and switch back to my shovel for our fossils. Which I know where a couple of them are because I walked by them earlier. Ever gotten beans from Harvey? Yep. I think you can only get it during like a certain time or something like that. But you're always helping me out. I got you a little present. It's a you are here tea. Thank you. <laughs> I need that. I'm always lost. You're missing 11 fossils. Oh man, you're close. It's always the last couple fossils, especially that last one in particular, that take forever to get, and it's always really annoying. You're here, how does it know? <laughs> it has like GPS installed somewhere on it. I hope everyone who's missing fossils gets the ones that they need soon. You press the A button too soon? Yeah, I always try and listen when I'm fishing. I don't look at the screen because I get too anxious about it. Okay, Kelly, very nice, very nice. Okay, so I don't need these. Oh, nice. I'm pretty sure the rare mushroom that we dug up right at the very beginning of stream, I'm pretty sure that actually sells for quite a lot. I think that's maybe where the majority of those bells come from. 
Oh, it's close your eyes, yeah. Oh, Saucy Simmer, <laughs> best of luck. Um, okay, so... Let me take a quick look here. Fossils, no? We need more pink tulips as well. I should I should be working more on my tulip collection, but I've kind of stopped all other hybrid breeding because I want to work on uh, on the um, on the blue rose. Honestly, that's the one thing I'm kind of after at the moment. Also, oh my goodness, <laughs> I totally missed it, Sarah. Thank you so very much. I, I, it's it's funny you say energy because I feel like I'm super low energy today, but I thank you so very much. This is what I get for not noticing my alerts going off. Thank you very much for that love. And you guys are already doing the love in chat. I'm the one who's late to this party. Thank you very much. That's very much appreciated. Uh, but maybe, you know what? Maybe we all need some, some uh, maybe low energy days. Just chill chat with the friends kind of day. <laughs> you gonna do a long stream for Animal Crossing Switch? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna do a really, really big one as well. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. But at the same time, it's gonna be kind of sad saying goodbye to New Leaf finally. Such a new bit started. I was so stumped about how to get rice. Since I need a Mackey roll for Gus's bundle, goes to Pierre's and see rice triggered. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, you can buy certain things. Oh, there's another one that I was walking by earlier. Um, Alright, so three fossils so far. We are missing one. Um, If you guys see it, please do let me know. Ah, oh, Sarah, thank you. Thank you so very much. That does mean a lot to me. <laughs> okay, there must there must be a fossil hidden back here somewhere. Mike has mail. Mike always has mail. I always forget to check his whenever I play as him, which is very rarely. <laughs> We should probably find that fossil later on, I'm assuming, knowing me. Honestly, Pepper, I left that the other day because I assumed if he wakes up now and he doesn't leave for, for work for like an hour, he's probably playing that game, knowing him. So I left it. There we go. Okay, so we're kind of putting white roses in this area here for now. Um, I don't know if this is gonna stay like this, but it's something. And I have a yellow one. I don't know where I've been putting those. Didn't realize the time so I could actually use the community center when I went in today. Lewis was just staring at the vault. Andrew, you, you said you completed it, right? I think they only go in after you complete it, I believe. Was I missing a yellow one from around here, maybe? No? I had a spare yellow up here. I buy fertilizer all the time, but I forget to use it, so I have like 20 in my storage. Oh, man. And here I've been buying all of them for a couple of reasons. But, uh, I've been buying a lot of fertilizer to use on my blue roses. Hi, <laughs> oh, Kelly B. Thank you. I'm glad you guys enjoy it so much. Hi, Katharina. Welcome back. Oh, gosh darn it. Okay, so if you ask for it, yes. If, like, I didn't know that you wanted it, or I didn't remember that you wanted it, I'd probably just go through and be like, oh, this is nice. Because that's what I usually do. You've never had a blue rose? Yeah, I, I, they're hard to get. Um, or at least they're rare to get. But the best thing you can do is keep trying, for sure. I just don't trust that man, Andrew. <laughs> Such shade, I love it. 
Okay, Blathers, I'm sorry to wake you up, buddy. Gazelia, hello, how are you doing? Welcome back. Uh, Dagger, I'm pretty much familiar with Gen 3. 1, 2, 3, and then the more recent gens, uh, X and Y and Sun and Moon. Uh, but Gen 4 and Gen 5, I'm not familiar with really very much at all. Completely green or play through Kanto? Honestly, Kanto and Heart Gold Soul Silver was really fun, but I really enjoyed Fire Red and Leaf Green as well. Lizzie, sure. Which do you want to see all the exhibits or just Lizzie? Yeah, I feel that. I'm I'm a little bit tired today as well. Usually using the money to make Marnie love him and not get in Peach. <laughs> Yeah, Dagger, uh, after Gen 4, Gen 5 is... I'm really looking forward to it because I've heard such good things. Katie, you should have water. I've been, like, I've been having nothing but water recently and it's been pretty good. <laughs> what events are you like you could say to Celeste you're cute? Because she really is. She is adorable. Okay. So... Um, we're actually doing pretty good on our bug collection. I think we only have- I'm looking at my list right here, by the way, exclamation mark museum, if you guys want to see what I have left in my museum to catch. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, I think, bugs left to catch to fill in this area. So we're pretty good. <laughs> um, we have, like, a lot of, like, the fall stuff, really. Yep, Star Cherry. Uh, if you click on that, you might also notice that I've added in a couple different sections of other stuff that I would like to complete before the end of this playthrough, which will be March 19th, uh, next year. Man, this- this one. <laughs> I have such trouble catching such a large butterfly. I probably had an easier time with these two. These two are just having- Having moments. <laughs> no, it's okay, Star Cherry. It's cool. I uh, I didn't mention it yet, so it's it's totally fine. Pepper, yes, because you're you're saying something about Pepsi. I got I got to ignore. <laughs> yeah, Luna. It's uh it's a little while after my birthday, but it's still the same month. It's still gonna be like my main birthday thing. Um, fossil collection we fully completed, um, pretty early on. I don't actually remember how long it took us, but... Yeah, Andrew, I think March 19th is a Thursday, I believe, if I- Oh, hi, it's Colton. Uh, if I'm remembering correctly. Spills tea. <laughs> um, and... It probably won't be a throwback Thursday that day. It'll be like a goodbye New Leaf kind of Thursday. Uh, our wonderful fossil collection has come so far. It's like an all-star team of fossils. I bet it'd be pretty hard to find an ex uh, exhibition hall as complete as this one. Watching your streams make me feel at home since I watched back home too. Oh, I'm happy to hear that, Saucy Simmer. Moving, I've moved only twice in my life so far. Um, but it's always such a stressful event, so I'm happy I was able to help out a little bit with that. Missing one fossil and it's painful because there's little to no chance to get it. Oh no. Oh no, Katie, what happened? Tell me tell me your, about your mistakes. Okay. I really like the fish exhibit, so we're going to this one next. Which fish, I think we only have six... Actually, I think we might have seven there as well. Seven left to catch. Um, but we have a lot of the diving creatures. Um, we, we made really good progress with diving and fishing. 12 hour drive to a different state so it's so new. Yeah, for sure. There we go. I like seeing these guys. Look at the coelacanth. He's just like... You caught me. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, says, you enjoy tennis? Never caught tarantula. In fact, I once got chased from one side of my town to the other. That's into PlayStation slammed by Nintendo shut. Oh, slammed your Nintendo shut and started to cry. <laughs> yeah. They're a little bit, they're a little bit intense when you first see them. I think it's stressful by love setting into a new place, getting new routines, new spaces. I think at this point, because I'm still living at home, I'm very, very much looking forward to moving out and having control over my own space and being able to decorate however I want to. That That's what I'm really looking forward to. Got a JoJo membership and it closed the community center because I'm trying not to look anything up and I woke up the next day to find it gone. So, Katie, there's two different ways to play Stardew. You can... Wow, these are really coming along. Uh, you can go through the Joja way, or you can go through the um, community center way. The community center way means that you are donating stuff to the museum to com or to the community center to complete it. And the Joja way means that you are paying Joja essentially to almost complete it. It's a little bit different. Um, you know, I I would say. You could start a new save file if you want to, and not talk to Jojo or do anything like that. Um, or you can continue through with that save file if you really don't want to look anything up. There's nothing really wrong with it, per se. Hi, Myth. How are you doing? Moving is hell stressful. I'm moving still right now, and I don't want to because the house we're moving from was my house of 13 years. Yeah, it can be hard when you live for somewhere so long. Okay, and I don't think we really have anything upstairs. I don't think I ever bothered. I might have with one room. Oh no, we did. We have one room open. I think I might just have a special type of furniture in here maybe, or maybe I was doing pictures. Right, this is all the zipper furniture that I was collecting and the many, many pictures we got of him. So that's all that's really up here. Strawberry milk, hello, how are you doing? Welcome back. Uh, yes, that's everything. Uh, Saucy Simmer, I'm not gonna lie, I've never actually bothered with the Junima houses, so I wouldn't know, but maybe someone else in chat can help you out with that. Love the beat in the art exhibit. Sounds so lovely. It's very nice. I like how the music kind of subtly changes in each exhibit for sure. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and update my dream address very quickly here for you guys. Get them from the wizard's catalog in his tower. Thank you, Red. <laughs> I've never done it. I Maybe we should focus on trying that out on my new farm, but I've never bothered. Oh no, Adam. <laughs> Um, but yeah, on the exclamation mark museum spreadsheet that I created for obviously the museum, I started to add in a couple other things that we could complete, um, you know, in the meantime, waiting for, you know, March of next year. Um, so some of the things I want to do are getting all the tools, which might be a little bit iffy. I might need some help with that one. Um, getting all the songs, which I could definitely see us doing. Um, and then finally getting all the different types of hybrid flowers. Probably minus gold roses, because those are really obnoxious to get. Random Ghoulie, hello, how are you doing? Welcome on in. But, um, the thing with the gold net and the gold rod, if you guys know, is you're supposed to catch all of the fish and all the bugs and then talk to Nat and Ship respectively at the bug off or at the fishing event. But the issue is March next year is when I plan to fully finish the museum and I'm probably not going to be able to talk to Nat at least. I think the fishing tournament is still on. I don't think the bug off is off or is on, sorry, during the winter. Um, and I don't know if I can visit someone's town who has the bug off currently to get the net or not. Okay. Um, so let me go ahead and sell off the fossils. Mm. 
I could time travel Frozen Bell, I could. It's probably... It'd be probably like my very last day I'd get to time travel though. Uh, Epic Joy, hello, how are you doing? I just, I kind of had in my head like, you know, I don't want to go past March 20th, 2020. I want that to be last day in town officially. <laughs> but I guess secretly between us, <laughs> I could time travel if I really wanted to. Um, okay, so this is all good. Bob wanted something for his room, so we're gonna give him this tiger yet again that he keeps trying to get rid of, and that for some reason Eric gets rid of also. Maybe it's cursed, I don't know. We're giving it to him again, though. Ignore that, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I, time traveling might have to happen. Um, the songs, obviously we can get them every Saturday night, plus from uh, the Emporium. And flowers, I'm not too fussed about, we can get those moderately easily. Oh. Oh. You gotta tell me you're moving? Because you're not. I want to talk to you about something. I'm thinking of moving away. Probably the 21st of this month. Yeah. No. No, you're not leaving. You're too cute. Hi, Mighty Owl. How are you doing? Welcome back. So, how about we play Nook for a day? Yeah, you pretend you're one of those cute little nut kids and I'll act like I'm- Oh, you're gonna want to buy that tiger, aren't you? Yep. Ah, oh, fine. Fine. This was for Bob, but it's fine. <laughs> Maybe she'll keep it. You can visit other towns and bug offs with a golden net, so maybe I'll see if there's anyone else who's currently time-traveled that far forward. Ooh. Oh, did Nightbot actually accept a command? My goodness. Watch it be at retail again? Oh, 100%. I'm expecting her to sell it. Okay, is there anything else in here that Bob might want? I don't really like any of this for his house. Maybe we'll see if there's anything for him in uh, in the Emporium today. I want my villagers to move so I can plot reset, but every time they say they're moving, they change their mind? Yeah. My rule of thumb is if you get a villager to say, hey, I'm moving, um, which I know a lot of times they'll be like, hey, I'm thinking of moving, and then you tell them yes, and then they're like, oh, never mind. But if they do say, okay, good, I'm actually gonna move, don't talk to them again. Ignore them. Because <laughs> that gives them more chances to change their mind. Random Gully, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm a little bit low energy today, just a little bit kind of off, but otherwise I'm feeling pretty darn good. Find something at Gracie's? Well, we do have the bells on hand for it. We probably could. Let's see, we have we have bells in our pockets for, for once in my life. Oh, Gaston! I knew you loved gardening. Tip stash. <laughs> nice to see at least someone in this town seems to get gardening. I feel like I'm fully relaxed when I'm surrounded by plants. I love Gaston. Best uh, next to Bob, best villager. Want pictures before the move? That's how I got Snake, but he changed his mind? Yeah. Okay, so let me see. What are, what are these songs? Two days ago. Um, I'm checking my list here really quickly. I th think I already got that one. And if this is Aloha... Oh, this is Surfing. Uh, which we don't have, so I'm gonna buy that one. Gaston Pascal. Pascal's great. He's amazing. Uh, so I'm just gonna take surfing off my list here real quick. There we go. Oh my goodness, that giraffe ruler. 
Oh, that brings back memories of my old town. <laughs> um, alright. Well, actually, that giraffe ruler might fit in well with Bob's house. I might get that for him. Cool. Okay. There's that settled. Um, let me see here. What else have we got? Was it, it was Robin. It was Robin indeed. Got started last Friday. I've already had 30 hours in it. Man, the game is so good. It's amazing. It's such a fun game. All of this is so very tempting. Very, very tempting. Which actually, I'll take the time now to ask you guys this question. Um, I'm looking for more stuff that we can focus on in New Leaf over the coming months because I feel like we might run out of content. And I'm wondering, right now I've, I've kind of been saying, you know, I don't really know if I want to complete or fully pay off my house because I don't really want a big house. I want a really small little cabin. Do you guys think I should go big essentially and just fully expand my house, have like a crazy room, have like crazy stuff going on or should I just leave my house small? Should that not be something I work on? That's my question to you. I'm not sure you're saying a small cabin is better. And for the theming, I am bound to agree with you for sure. Small house. Small is better. Expand Mike's house. <laughs> That'd be really funny actually. Just have Mike's house be massive. Ah, uh, Epic Joy, you know what? I don't really know about all the badges. That's not the right page. But that is definitely something that we could work on and a very good idea. Um, we don't have that many of them. Working in your house will give you something to do. It would, it would for sure. A big house making a guest room. Maybe start a tiny side character in the same town and make that one's house huge. Is that a thing? I could do that. I could do that. Just play as Mike. Yeah. Because it would be definitely a Mike thing to come in and make this massive house. Um, hi Nia, how are you doing today? But, um, badges. Badges is definitely something I could work on. Just catching bugs and- oh, that's not the right button to press for that. Fish, diving, filling the encyclopedia. Like these ones, these three we're all gonna get because we're finishing our encyclopedia anyway. And they'll give him more purpose, true. <laughs> um, metals on the island, that one's a little bit difficult to get, I think. Village gardener, we are definitely gonna get that one. Turnip, I need to earn some more bells so that I can invest in the Stark market, Stark? Stock market every, uh, every Sunday for sure. Still have the little cabin vibe, yeah. All the possible amiibo items. That is tempting, but the thing is, you need... Um, oh, Pepper! Pepper's just gifted a sub to Grand Max. It's a 16-month resub. Thank you. Um, the amiibo items, they're all... Or at least a lot of them... Actually, what would the amiibo items be classified as? Like, the ones from the RVs, you mean? Also, Sarah, not really. I'm not a huge fan of Happy Home Designer. Um, because if, if we're talking about like the fortune cookie items, I can't really get those because this 3DS never leaves this room and uh, I, I can't get the play coins for it, special RVs. I could look into it. I don't really have very many of the RV characters though. Um, catalog that I have never ever finished the catalog. I don't think I ever will. Amazing Happy Home Academy scores. Helping out the villagers, hostess, uh, lots of dreams, and for people who've played for a long time, I think. Sitting and shaking this, even that I'm a little bit nervous about doing just because the capture card install uh, installation. Oh, or uh, uh, sorry, or else I would. No worries, Andrew. You enjoy that. I think the metal badge would call for a couple mod visits to the island, probably. Yeah. <laughs> We probably have, like, island streams or something. Uh, 
Okay, so, um, we have fertilizer, we got music, and we got something for Bob. Let's go ahead and show him what we got. And then I also need to work on the blue rose situation. Which, by the way, next question. I have been gifted. I have been gifted blue roses by lovely, lovely viewers. And I've put them in here, same with the gold roses. These are not me, these were all gifts. Um, if I was to breed one blue rose, because I'm very stubborn and I've said I really want to breed a blue rose, just to show that I can do it. <laughs> um, if I was to breed one that I that I make with one of these, is that okay? That's fine, right? I've always said I just want to get one of my own. <laughs> Pepper. Um. Where did Bob go? It's fine? Yeah, people are saying it's fine. I just want to make sure. I want to use my own ones. I didn't want to use those ones to breed new ones, though, because I'm just stubborn, and you know me. Yeah, we need a lot of blue roses around town. Kitty Cat's absolutely right. Um, there's so many places in town that feel empty because I have plans to put the blue roses there. I just don't have them yet. Your Spotify just randomly started. I get so angry if that started midstream. <laughs> Not for me. Did I walk by him or something? Is he in his house? I'm so confused. Where did he go? Oh, that's my house, right? <laughs> no, he's not in his house. Uh, happy man, hello. How are you doing today? We're looking for Bob. We're looking for Bob. Um, he was here earlier. Probably went on a walkabout. Um, let's go ahead and scaring all the bugs here. <laughs> uh, put down the fertilizer. You unlock the dream suite. Very nice. I'm always so scared I'm gonna accidentally dig up one of my hybrid reds that way. And let's give an extra water just for good measure. 50 bell reward. Poor Bob isn't worth that much. <laughs> Oh, Adam, they're great. They're great. I haven't been watering them recently just because I really want to work on that blue rose, but beyond that, I will be putting them absolutely everywhere. I hear someone walking. That's Phoebe. Okay. I think we've lost Bob. He's on screen right now, but beyond that... Uh, Admiral Arcade, thank you so very much for the follow. Welcome on in. Um, oh, Admiral Arcade, I have a capture card. I have a 3DS capture card. Um, it was one of the, as far as I know, one of the last ones that the guy I was buying them from was able to sell because his supplier, the guy who was making the capture cards, had to stop. We've lost Bob. <laughs> Adam, not at all, not at all. All right, well, let me go put this away in my house at least then, and maybe Bob will spawn up later for us. Yeah, Admiral, I had an older one, but it unfortunately uh, died. They they don't seem to last very long, especially if you stream regularly with them. And uh, I was in such a rush to make sure that I got one when I heard the news that they weren't going to be selling them really anymore. Is it the museum or the cafe? We were just in the museum, but he might be- he might have gone into the cafe. There we go. Mill and Yontaki kids aren't selling them. I really want a physical mod to my DS. It- I don't really know what goes into it, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but really, to me, it seems like there was only two people who ever actually properly made them, and one of them stopped a couple of years back. 
And the only reason this other guy stopped is because of a law change in Japan. It was really weird. Oh, there are you. Were you abducted by aliens as well, just like Eric that one time? I had to set up turnips to get ants and flies. My friend didn't know. I took them and sold them. Oh no, person. That sucks. Loopy and Katsukiti? Yes, yeah. Um, I purchased my this capture card from someone by the name of Murky, which was, I think, a German like reseller of them, um, but he didn't have very much left. Yeah, Sarah, I, I, I went through that route in between capture cards when I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to purchase this one that I have right now, and it works for some people, doesn't really work that well for others. It depends on your connections and stuff. Hi thank you so much for hanging out with us. We'll see you later. I should get a megaphone? I probably should. Nice, I had my eye on a giraffe ruler just like this one. Can't wait to see how it looks. It's gonna be great. Oh, Phoebe! Phoebe! Oh no! No, 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 that might be a public works project. Phoebe! Oh! Bob, stop talking to me! Oh. Hey, I just thought of a super awesome nickname. I don't want- You- <laughs> If you guys are new here, Phoebe is an Uchi villager, and she has so many public works projects that I want, but she hasn't been suggesting them. And anytime she pings me, I get freaked out. And of course, she never pings me for what I want. What is it? You can call me that, it's fine, whatever you want. Gosh darn it, Phoebe, <laughs> she's so smug about it too, she knows. We don't want nicknames, we want benches, and we also want statues, and I think picnic blankets, and windmills, stuff that you haven't given me yet. Oh, that's so frustrating. That's on Mike's character. The paths that I have in this town are so, like, because they're so detailed, there's so many different spaces for them, and Mike's character is the one that has the one that I just accidentally kicked up. That's annoying. And we got the- we got the trellis, thankfully. We got the trellis. Uh, Xanred, hello, how are you doing? Oh, Luna, well, I'm happy to hear it. Okay, we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Um, why don't we go ahead? <laughs> I know, Max, I was in such a rush. Such a rush to get that public works project. And of course she's like, nah. Nah, but here- here's this cool nickname I gave you. Or I'm giving you. I just had to dig up paths. It was true. <laughs> Pines, absolutely true. Okay, so you guys were saying that the blue marlin is easier to catch on the island. And was it Eric who wanted it? I think? We're gonna go over there. Oh, I can't wait until New Horizons when we have proper paths that I hopefully won't be able to just dig up easily. Strawberry milk, we'll see you later. You can choose the nickname if you say no, yeah, but I feel guilty turning him down. Random Sea Rose, not at all. You enjoy your lurk. Phoebe, I bet Crystal will love a new bench in town, but she will love this nickname I have for her a lot more. Oh god, I kicked my desk. I'm sorry if that was loud. <laughs> you think Tartamore Island will be a thing in New Horizons since you're already on an island to begin with? I feel like there's gonna be different islands for you to visit, personally. Maybe with different things to do on them. Oh, thank you, Captain. <laughs> you only get them when you go to the island? Jacob, enjoy your food. Sure, I came over for two minutes and laps, man. I wish Asher would do that for me. Hi, Pikmin lover. How's it going today? Hope you're having a good one. Petro offered to sell me art yesterday, and I said no, thank you would reduce the price. Instead, he congratulated me for seeing through his scam. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> I've never heard of a villager admitting they were trying to, like, scam you before. That seems like Animal Crossing GameCube level, kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna try playing Happy Home Designer today. Five Below started selling them. Oh, nice! Enjoy! Okay, so. Evil clown pinecone. <laughs> oh no, Zamrid. 
I guess, do your best to work around um, the trees. I know it's a bit frustrating. Um, okay, so I'm gonna grab the net and the fishing rod just so we can scare away any extra bugs that we don't need. I'm not usually here during the day, so this is a little bit weird, I'm not gonna lie. Ready for work. I want to stay home, but I can't. I feel that. I feel that. I'm doing okay. Um, it's really funny. This morning I woke up kind of in the mood to actually, like, work on something. And I wanted to record more Yokai Watch for- Ooh, I clicked such a bad button. What did I just do? What did I do? Uh-oh. Give me a second. Capture card's not liking this. Um... No. No. No, that's even worse. Uh-oh. I hit something on my keyboard. I can probably make use of this, though. I'm not having a good day. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> um, as I fix this... But yeah, this morning I wanted to record more Yokai Watch. And what happened was... I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna record. I'm feeling really good about this. And then I go to record it and it's like, oh, your 3DS wants to update. And legit, I swear this update took like an hour. I've never had it do that before. It was really, really bad. And there we go. That one's fixed. It's like nothing ever happened. Look at that. Except for the bottom screen. Don't look there. And, um... Yeah, that's pretty much my story, it was just, I wanted to work on something, it wouldn't let me. I had to sit there and wait for it to finish updating itself, and it was really, really frustrating. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what I hit. I think I maybe hit control? I hit something. And it didn't like it. Could this be more up? No. Hmm. There we go. It's not perfect. It's not back to the way- uh, you know what, it's gonna bother me if not. Thank you so much for the follow. I can't check your username right now. But thank you so very much regardless. Okay, let me move this up a little. Thank you so much for the other follow. Thank you. And that is marginally better. I wonder what I hit. Much better. There we go. Note to self, Crystal, don't hit things. Can I handle spicy food? Uh, depends on how spicy. So April Ryan and... Is it Ray, Ray Rosen? I don't know if I'm saying your names right, but thank you so much for the follows, both of you. Welcome on in. There we go, we're all done. My screen still looks really funny though. I wonder what I did. I did something wrong. Hi fam, well, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, I know that poor butterfly fish is like, please, please just end this. <laughs> Wanna hit control again for science? Not on stream, Max. Maybe maybe another time though. We're not hitting it again, you guys. <laughs> The, uh, the 3DS capture card that I have has a lot of settings that kind of come with the instructions of don't hit if you don't know what it's gonna do. And I don't know what any of them are gonna do, so... There's an island in New Horizons, a town. Because in your town, the other games, there's an island, but in New Horizons, it should be the town you can visit. You know what? I've actually, honestly, kind of wonder joking aside um, whether or not we're going to be visiting a proper town because we're the ones living on the island. Bit bigger but slimmer? Okay. This is essentially Sealy Camp, like people were saying.
Check my connection strength at Twitch. When I search on Google, I find only solutions for streamers and not for viewers. Ooh. Um. The only thing I know is if you are watching on desktop, at least I know, there should be a cog in the lower right hand corner of your video player and from there you can click advanced and then like settings or stats or something like that and I don't know if that'll help you out at all but it's an option it's there <laughs> I don't remember what's in there mind you but cool very nice oh pretty button <laughs> yeah it's it's really funny there's actually a lot of uh, a lot of weird settings in this capture card. I definitely hit something wrong. Just found the dark theme option for Twitch. You've never been happier? Yes! I use dark themes as well. No, Ray Stretcher. Sorry that you're having issues with Twitch. It's never any fun. Oh no, Fudge Monkey, that's not good. Padfoot, hello. Currently been in New York City. Hope you're having a great streaming week. I have to catch up while I'm trying to get back to UK. Time on Thursday? For sure, for sure. I hope you're having fun. Bugs that I don't need. Dark things are life. The bright white kills my eyes, especially at night. Yeah, it's, it's actually funny. Ooh, shark. Um, I always forget that the, um... Sorry, I was waiting for that to bite. Uh, the Switch has a light theme. I'm so used to it being dark, so when I watch someone who's streaming on their Switch and they go back to their home menu and it's light and I'm like, what is this? <laughs> what is this and why does it exist? Oh, Lizzie, we're, we're honestly, we're hunting for a blue marlin for Eric, I think it was. Not used to it at all? Yeah, for sure. Ooh, that one's skinny and long. Maybe? Let's see, is this what I'm looking for? Uh, I think it is! Yay! Awesome! Cool, we can go back now. My character might be getting a tan, we can't have that. They must reflect my pastiness. <laughs> Lizzie, your luck came in handy. We just got it. Okay, so... I'll actually keep that one separate, just so I don't accidentally sell it. dark mode on for my phone but I guess my brain didn't connect that to my laptop would do the same yeah I I use dark mode for pretty much anything that allows me to there's some programs I use often that don't have a dark mode option and it kind of bothers me <laughs> no worries autumn plans you enjoy your nap uh, Padfoot, it was pretty much me asking if you guys have any suggestions for stuff we could do in the future, more stuff we could work on completing. So for example, I've added the fact that I want to collect all the tools, all the music, and all the different types of flowers in my town. Um, which by the way, the different types of flowers that aren't currently in my town will probably be staying on my beach. <laughs> uh, but just other stuff that we can do in the meantime as we're waiting for New Horizons to come out. Oh no, Rosie, that's terrible. <laughs> Collect all the diving suits. Would, would that mean going to Club Tortimer, Max? Aren't some of them only available there? I could be wrong. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for stuff that you think would be fun to watch or fun for me to do. Um, you know, uh, while I'm 
it's still streaming really for sure okay so i think it was eric who wanted this hi cc how are you doing welcome back craziest mod towns to visit see that that will be fun maybe just doing more more visits and stuff Oh, are you shoving Ash or sorry, are you shoving Eric? I say Astrid. I'm like, no, wait, that's Astrid doing the shoving. <laughs> okay, so there you go. It's a good idea though, since it's a different island every time you go. Yeah. Collecting all the seasonal furniture sets. Yes, that one I could definitely see myself doing. Um. There's a couple that I might not be able to get now because we've already passed by it, for example. Astrid, are you shoving Astrid? Yeah, I realized midway through that. I'm like, that's that's not right. Ooh, what are we getting? Blue bench, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sell off all this stuff. Blue Marlin for a blue bench. <laughs> Ash reception. Oh, hi, Straw Cherry. I see your chat right now. I don't know if that's what you're looking for, but I can see it. Random viewer pick days of your past. That would be kind of funny. Honestly, I'm I'm all for the suggestions. Because I really don't want to get, you know, burned out, or I don't want to, like, you know, have nothing to do. Um, because I do expect that we're not going to finish the museum for a little while, but I also don't expect um, us to, like, you know, have too much to do in between stuff that we're catching. Why don't we go check out the public works project, so... Ooh, when did this come here? Um, since we have the bells, we'll see if there's any public works projects we want to do. And if not, we might just do the diving trick and chat for a little bit, you guys. I really have no delay comparing the stream to the chat message, however, my messages still arrive later than I send them. Hmm. Got all the special stunts? How about try and get all of those? I think we have a good number of them. I don't know if we have all of them, but I could always dig up these ones and try. We have a good three of them right there. Four. We have four in total. How many are there in total? Do you guys actually know? You like the tarantula scorpion hunts? Yeah, those are always funny. The moment someone says something in chat, it immediately appears on screen, but my message arrives to five to ten seconds later than I send them. So, I have an idea, but I don't think it... I'll message you after stretch. I have a slight idea, but I don't think it's anything to do with this. Also, why is my Steam popping up? You're not even open right now. Go away. <laughs> Oh, there's 12 in total? Cool. So, I have 8 in that space, so I could add in 4 more somewhere else. Steam wanting a cameo. Steam wants me to play Stardew? Probably. Probably. Ooh, actually, you know what? Give me a second, I just realized. Two seconds, you guys. I'm just gonna get up. Sorry about that. Um, I looked over and realized that my curtains were open and the sun was going right down on top of my AC unit that's not supposed to have sun on it. <laughs> Alright. I love how Bob looks like he's staring directly into the camera. It's beautiful. Hi Borkies, how's it going? And Donut Guardian, welcome on in you guys. And Frank, hello. That was a sneeze? No, that was my curtains. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, Frank, thank you so very much for the host. <laughs> Random. Bless you, Crystal's Curtains. Thank you, Stratchery. <laughs> no, usually I, I make it in time to mute myself before I, uh, before I sneeze. Usually. Not every time. But I do try. I don't want to burst anyone's eardrums here. I was wondering what that would sound like on the mic, though, since I didn't mute it when I got up. Do pass in your houses. The bad thing is a pain. Yep. Yep. <laughs> it really, really is. I'm looking forward to that as well. Want to pop in for a little bit and eat some Twix? How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. It's been a very chill day today. No public works projects? Nothing? No? Baby, how about you? No, nothing? Okay. Maybe one day. <laughs> Yeah, Storm says, I feel like I always get pinged then as well, but my villagers have recently- Oops, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I've recently- Oh, actually, you're not meant to be in my town. I just realized, oh, that, uh, Violet was blending in really well with my lilies. Pepper, what's wrong? Diving trip? Yeah, I think we might do it. But I just want to talk to a villager and make sure that they're not gonna tell me, Hey, you look tired. <laughs> Uh, if I can find a villager to tell me that I look tired. <laughs> Is my first time going to the optometrist because I've been having weird headaches that make my eyes seem off focus? Y yeah, if you're having headaches like that, that might be time to look into glasses for sure. But, uh, you shouldn't be too nervous. It's generally pretty, pretty chill. But, uh, best of luck regardless. I need to talk to Astrid. I was going to go out and find her myself, but my legs keep cramping up. Uh, sure. Oh, it's okay, Pepper. Oh, thank you, Cece. <laughs> oh no, creative emulator, yes. Anxiety about something new. No, I understand. I honestly, like, I've, I've had glasses for a couple of years, or for a decent amount of years, I guess now, and I've been to several different optometrists before, but uh, it's still kind of anxiety inducing. I get it. And Donut Guardian, thank you so much for the host. Okay, grab Astrid wherever she wandered to. No worries, Panda Lover. I hope the dog bath goes well. Okay, so after we bring Astra to Cube, I'm gonna get on my diving suit, we're gonna hop in the ocean, and we're gonna hope that Phoebe is nice to us, because I would really, really love a new Public Works project to put down. And Lizzie, have a fantastic night. Ooh, Public Works project. Didn't you say you wanted a blue bed? Why is everyone giving me blue stuff today? Blue bench, blue bed, blue marlins. <laughs> Ask for new furniture, so I brought her a modern, a modern wood chest and she won't take it because she already has. Oh, really? I didn't know they would get picky about that. That's interesting. Blue everything. <laughs> Pepper. You stopped Blue from moving yet? Yeah, she pinged us earlier and was like, oh, I'm leaving on the 21st. And I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you must have something very important to discuss, Q. Why else would you call me here? I was walking around the other day and I found this on the ground. I don't know why, but I kind of thought it might be yours. Huh? Is it? That is my new spring tea. Oh, maybe she'll finally change. Love Cube? Yeah, Cube is a sweetheart. Ooh, actually, you guys. I think it was yesterday I was watching uh, Hylian or Hyrule Gaming Group, and he was playing Animal Crossing GameCube, which, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, has been giving me some uh, some itches to play the original Animal Crossing on a certain Thursday. Um, but regardless, 
Um, he has a villager in his town by the name of Iggy. And Iggy is a blue goat <laughs> with an arrow on his head. And he's like the opposite of the Avatar almost. And he's beautiful. And I don't think he made it to any other games past the GameCube version. I don't think. But I really want Iggy, you guys. He's beautiful. He's gorgeous. That's for sure ran here. I guess everyone's got places to be. Blue arrow. <laughs> uh, I almost forgot. I have a present for you here, a dotted wall. Thank you. My alternate self. He's beautiful. If you guys, you know what? Actually, you know what? Give Give me a second. Give me a second. We're gonna We're gonna go on a field trip here, real quick. Sarah, I don't yet. I don't. I do need to look into it. I've just been lazy. Um. Guys, what we need to do is I need you guys to appreciate- let me see if I can get this to work properly. <laughs> what I need you guys to do is appreciate that. Look at him. Please. Can we just appreciate his face? He's a jock. His birthday is just a couple days ago. <laughs> His eyes. He caught my eye when, when Hylian was streaming and I saw him and I'm like, his his mustache would match with Gaston so well and I want him so badly. But I, I if you look down below, um, below his picture, you can see appearances. Uh, Animal Forest, Animal Forest Plus, Animal Crossing, Animal Forest E Plus. So he didn't make it past the GameCube, essentially, which sucks. But he's so heckin' cute, and I really, really want him. <laughs> oh, so I may need to figure out ways and means to get him into my GameCube game, maybe. Um, but yeah, anyways. I'm glad you guys approve of him as well. He is so cute. Also, I'm gonna close that window now. There we go. Bring Iggy back for New Horizons. Look at his face. Uh, Alster, hello. How's it going? Welcome on in here. Mighty Owl, I should. I should. He's like my current mood. He just- oh. He fits in. We've never had him before and I already feel like we know him. I'm gonna go put some of this money away, actually. I think Iggy didn't make it because there's also a new penguin. Is there a penguin named Iggy or is it Igly? Because I, I know- the name rings a bell for me as well. Or Ignite Igly or something catchy. <laughs> Isn't he go- oh wait, we still have this to do as well. Isn't he gorgeous? Oh no, creative emulator. Oh no, Persona, that's not so good. Which is a little bit funny on mobile, I know that much. I think it is Igly. I had them in my town from the start. Follow me on YouTube more than one year. Well, come on in. Thank you so much for checking out the Twitch channel as well. Igly is a jock. It could be that Iggy became Igly as we know him or them. Um, because Iggy is also a jock. It could have just been they kind of became this other villager. Hi, Brandon. How are you doing? I hope you had a good day at school. There we go. Also, oh, it's currently 3.30 in the afternoon. We're reincarnated into Igly. There's a lot of villagers, actually, or a decent handful, I should say, who didn't make it from the GameCube game over to, um, you know, the newer Animal Crossing games, so. Okay. So, if you guys would be as kind as you always are, to help me figure out which ones are real and which ones are fake in here. You're already at 9 p.m.? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Iggy lost the competition, so he took that L. And his name became a burb, and here we are. 
remember Sprocket? Never had him, but I know of the villager, yeah. But he was bad at added back as an amiibo villager? Yes, there were certain villagers who were added back again. Okay, so. We got this thing. His eyes are half open. We got this thing. It's something to do with her hair, I think. Uh, something to do with the leaf, I think? Being half eaten? And... This guy's nose. Woman on statue's fake. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and check here. There's a couple statues and a couple paintings that we actually need, so... Leaf is the real one. Full of trash. I have no more storage space. Come on, guys. Take some. Help yourselves. Help yourselves to my trashy couches on me. <laughs> Leaf one. Leaf one is real. Okay, well, hope hopefully this was one that we don't already have. Neutral. We actually needed a neutral painting, so that's really, really good. So that's really- that's perfect, actually. We needed neutral. Um, so there's another painting crossed off our list. Perfect. I'm just gonna, like, mark that down so that I remember that I've purchased it. But I'm not gonna mark it off the list yet, because I'll, like, forget. Awesome. Not moving for the rest of my life. My legs have jellied. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, thank you so very much for helping me out with that one, because I, like... Of course, I could look up a guide, and it could be like, you know, oh, like, you know, we need this one, this one's real. But like, that's not so fun, right? It's more fun if you guys get to help me choose, or throw me off if you guys want to be evil. Okay, so, flowers. We need to go pick up a whole bunch. I also need to pick up my diving suit, I shouldn't forget that. Air with Hazel Sally and Sally Callie. Between population and growing in Wild World, Hazel was renamed Sally and Sally was renamed Callie. There's a new leaf. A new Hazel was introduced. Oh my goodness. Donkey is very helpful. Yeah, Donkey is like, when I'm playing off stream, it is so, so helpful. Um, okay, diving suit. Let's grab this one. You accidentally bred a blue rose? That is incredible luck or something something has gone on. You're gonna go and exist today? Wish me luck. Best of luck, I feel that. And who hello, how you doing? Welcome back. Just gonna pick up all these random flowers, I guess. Fill up my pockets and then we will head down and hope to get a public works project. Oh, Luna, that's not good. What were you doing on your DS? Were you just playing? Or were you on a certain menu or something? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Peachy Merman, see? See, I'm not the only one who accidentally did that. Uh-oh, Zach. Uh-oh. You done? Oh, I done messed up. I should have done an emote. <laughs> yeah, Sarah, I I can't really find them physically anymore. I used to be able to get them in like Toys R Us and occasionally EB Games and Best Buy. Um, but I can't really get them anymore where I am without going online, so I kind of stopped bothering. I got a decent amount, though. Can't say trick, and I was... Doing the talk to rover thing, it just flashed black and went... Okay, well as long as it went back, but maybe make sure everything's... You know, powered properly and you're not low on battery, maybe? Do the shrunk shuffle? I do indeed. You want to buy another one? Ah, uh, Storm Saints, I've always believed it's out of non-fruit trees. I'm pretty sure. Unless you shake a fruit tree and then you shake it again? I don't actually know if that works though. What exactly is the diving trick? So the diving trick is when you fill up your pockets with flowers and tools are okay as well. And you put on your diving suit, you jump into the ocean and you swim as far away from your town as you can and you just sit there. 
for generally I go like five to seven minutes. And the whole purpose of doing this is kind of, and I use quotation marks here, refreshing your town. And in theory, what will happen is after the five to seven minutes is up, you go back up to your town and the first villager who lays eyes on you will ping you and run over and hopefully ask for a public works project. Occasionally they'll ask for something like a nickname change or a greeting or a catchphrase. Um, the issue with that is um, I find a lot of times they'll just ask for those things repeatedly instead of for the public works project, but sometimes you get lucky. Um, you fill up your pockets with flowers and tools and stuff because villagers will never ask to buy, sell, or trade flowers or tools. And you don't have any room in your inventory to buy anything from them either, so... It's pretty much the idea of it. <laughs> Some emotes look really weird when done in water. I even actually, like... That one looks really weird. <laughs> It's very old, it's been through a lot. When I say a lot, I mean a lot. Broke into two pieces? That might be why. Oh, Storm says that's adorable. Maybe you just enjoy, avoid the jellyfish? Do do an emote. Do an emote when the jellyfish is coming towards you. Like the shrunk shuffle, because it lasts a long time. And uh, they'll swim right through you. Which flowers are the prettiest for a town? I think it's kind of subjective. I really like roses and lilies, but that's me personally. Lays eyes on you. I mean, it's true though. <laughs> Let me see, what else can you do in the water that's kind of weird looking? Oh, that's gross. <laughs> no hands, guys, no hands. No worries sometime. I only actually figured that out a couple months ago, like live on stream, and I was so shook. <laughs> Jonas, no. No, this town is not online at the moment. How do you even get emotes? So from Shrunk, uh, one day Shrunk will come over to your town and he'll be like, Hey, I want to open up uh, a club. And you follow his quest line or whatever, do whatever he asks. And then when he opens up the club, during the daytime, if you bring him fruit, he'll give you these emotes, essentially, in return. Went to Best Buy to replace it for a new one. I had insurance on it. And then they're just like, no, let's just glue the thing together. And said we fixed it. Oh my goodness. I have had a couple DS screens that wobble really badly. I have one that won't hold itself up anymore, actually. Okay, so we've been here for about four minutes so far. Actually, Borkies, I don't know if you can say no. I've never bothered trying. That'd be interesting, though. Very first DS was a wobbly screen. Well, bless it. It still works. Yeah, I have a, my original, my very original, like, DS. Not even 3DS. Like, straight up old school DS. The big ones, not the DS lights. Um, it had a nasty fall when I was in Florida on a tile floor in our hotel room. And, uh, the hinge on the screen cracked so the screen can nearly come all the way off but it still works <laughs> whereas my my ds light that i got after that it screen wobbles and now it refuses to turn on really um and actually unfortunately most of my 3ds screens have this certain wobble to it trunk shuffer while pole vaulting <laughs> While pole vaulting away from the tarantula. Yeah, I'm waiting for those things to start jumping, though. <laughs> yeah, Sarah, I... It's really funny. I think the DS lines, like, the screen is just a little bit too big, because the clamshell design worked really good for the Game Boy Advance SP, because I still have both of mine. Neither of them wobble. They're perfect. Um, it's just the DS line that seems to have an issue. Oh, <laughs> Luna, my goodness. Oh, Creative Emily, that's nice of you. Broken a year ago, my brother dropped it and broke off the R trigger, and it was really wobbly, and all of a sudden the top fell off. Oh my goodness. 
Drunk shuffle while pole vaulting away from a tarantula who is also shrunk shuffling while pole vaulting. If we have artists in chat. <laughs> Even stick figure artists, you guys. I need this in my life. I really do. <laughs> Even just an image of pole vaulting away from a tarantula is hilarious to, uh, to me. An iron on the DS. The bottom screen isn't working right in the top screen. Is melted. Oh my god. Uh, Sky, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome on in. This doesn't really wobble, but there's a tear in the hardware somewhere because it randomly shuts off. Oh, that's not good at all. Yeah, Saucy, it will be. You're absolutely right. That tarantula is going to look real HD. <laughs> Uh, Dat... What you? Am I saying your name right? Welcome on in. Thank you so much for the follow. Alright, I'm gonna go up and see if someone gives me a public works project. There's wobbles and light flickers on the top screen. I got two years ago and didn't use it for like a year. Yeah. Alright, let me see here. What villagers do we have around here? I was hoping to get Phoebe, but she's quite far away at the moment. Okay, that is Phoebe. <gasps> Hi! Public Works Project? <gasps> Phoebe, you didn't. For me? <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? Come on, girl. You got this. <gasps> it's the bench. It's the one bench I've been waiting for. <laughs> you guys don't know my history with this bench. I had an older town called Rose Wolf. Where I was waiting for this bench for forever, and on the very final day I ever played on that town, someone gave me that bench, so I never got to put it down. And now I get this bench. <laughs> this is the one that I've wanted. And that, that should, I honestly, I should clip that entire segment and be like, this is how the diving trick works. Look at it working. <laughs> Quick save. I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm go I wanna. I wanna go look at it. I need to go stare at it. Yeah, Deirdre really trolled me last time. Phoebe Express brownie points, man. I'll send Phoebe brownies. I will make her brownies. Isabel, tell me the good news. We got a new public works project. Where is it? There it is. Look at it. Just look at it. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. Praise bench emote when? We need like a bench emote, you guys. The sad thing is we have room for a bench emote. <laughs> okay, so. Didn't you take off your swim trucks? No, no, man. We are all business today. <laughs> um, so here's the thing. Here's the thing, we, we have decisions to make, you guys. Alright, if we go down here, Isabel's like, why are you wearing a wetsuit? And I'm like, don't worry about it. She's like, Mayor, you tracked water into the town hall. And I'm like, don't worry about it, we'll mop it up. I'm just gonna shove Astra out of my way first. <laughs> um, for the longest time, get the mop. <laughs> for the longest time, I've wanted that bench here. I wanted to replace this bench for the longest time. Jimbo! Thanks for being so right. Jimbo, you put a pun in your resub message. Thank you. <laughs> I feel blessed with the Jimbo pun. Love and chat, you guys. If you guys don't follow Jimbo, you should be. Speaking of Stardew, we weren't talking about Stardew, but it's fine. He plays a lot of Stardew. He also plays a lot of other games, too, and he's amazing to listen to. Um, but yeah, sorry. I wanted to put it here. For the longest time. So, what we could do is we could take down this bench and then place this bench down, which means we wouldn't get to see it like, you know, the next time we play. It would be like two streams from now, essentially. Or, 
Or we could put it in our orchard, which I do have a place lined up for it. But I kind of wanted the... I don't know if it's called the metal bench, but it's like a, a iron-looking metal fancy bench. I don't know the word for it, or if that's what it's called. Isabel's like, where are we going? <laughs> but this is where I wanted that one. I don't know if the metal bench would work better here. That's what I had planned. Well, thank you so very much. How are you doing today, though, dude? How's it going? Um, so essentially, I don't... <laughs> Crystal sprinting into town hall, stopping wet, covered in jellyfish stings. Bench. <laughs> Hanging in there. Good to hear. Good to hear. Um, so essentially... Do you guys think we should put the metal bench here, or should we put in this new wood bench? Jonas, if your town gate is open, then I don't think bees can spawn. Travel on stream, we aren't gonna care. No, but it gives it a little bit more longevity. <laughs> Check the spot, I should. Wood or log bench. Actually, log bench would, might even look better. Oh, whoops, nope. I've been told it'll fit here. I've been told it'll fit. There you go. So that's what it would look like if it was in that place, but the wood one or even the log one would look- especially the log one, actually. I think I might change my mind. But essentially, we know that the bench will fit here, which is great. <laughs> I don't know, can we- Random, I know your internet's kind of lacking right now. Do you mind if we have a straw pole? Is that possible right now? Or I could do it if you guys can't on that internet. How many times I have to reposition? Yes. <laughs> Been on autopilot for plot restraining for the last two hours and I accidentally load the game with my mare and I'm so- Oh no, saucy. I've done that so many times. You should replace the other one. It looked dark with the trees, yep. Yeah. yeah, random. If you want to do a straw pull, um, either have the metal bench, this wooden bench, or the log bench. Which, the metal and the log we don't actually have yet. <laughs> uh, the- the Benton? Am I saying your name right? Well, come on in. Thank you so much for the follow. How are you doing? Metal one and the wood one where the- yeah, this wood one is 100% going in where that yellow bench is. We're not keeping that yellow bench. I like to think that Random just ha permanently has the straw pull tab open, just in case. Oh yeah, Random's like so excited about straw pulls. Ruled, <laughs> hopefully you get a public works budget from her. She has blessed us today. I've been waiting for this bench for the last like eight months, <laughs> essentially. I'm, I'm glad you're doing well. He has a bookmarked. Oh. I'm really happy that that worked. Eight months, essentially. Essentially. I, I could have had a baby in this time, man. Like, I'm nearly there. <laughs> but no, we got we got the bench. And that's the most important thing. Baby bench. <laughs> Alright, you guys. There is a poll available that Random has made up. What should we plant our butt fruit on by the orchard? Heavy metal bench that headbangs. The wood bench of destiny. A log. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna vote. I'm gonna check out your votes, though. You just got public works project. It's the trash can. Oh, man. I really wish the trash can was actually, like, counted as a nice public works project and didn't take away from your perfect town. How to get rid of a tan on new leaf. Unfortunately, there isn't really a way to get rid of it other than covering up, you know, carrying an umbrella with you or stuff like that and just waiting for it to fade. Uh, Jacob, thank you so very much for the biddies. That's very much appreciated, dude. Thank you. Okay, so so far, log is in the, is in the lead. Log is in the lead. Metal bench is second. 
would bench of Destiny is third. First two options are super creative, and then it just ends with a log. <laughs> Chocolate's blueberry muffins and chocolate and vanilla cheesecake. Andrew, why do you bring back the good things? Can I have? Brandon Vanelli, hello, how are you doing? I love a log. I think I think the log is one, you guys. I think the log is one. I'm gonna leave it at that. So we're not gonna put this here. What we are gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and tell Isabel we're not doing this today. Oh, Jacob, thank you. You thank you. Also, Doddles had just gifted some biddies. Thank you so very much for Fun Bench. Thank you, Doddles. I am so happy. And Jacob has also just gifted a sub to, uh, is it Stephanie? I'm not sure how to read the last part of your username, but I hope you enjoy the emotes. Thank you so very much. Cancel project. I'm sorry, Isabel. We'll put it down tomorrow, I promise. Yeah, random. I'm going to be replacing that yellow bench with this wonderful, wonderful bench. And I'm super excited for it. <laughs> um, and then we're going to uh, hopefully unlock the wood or the metal, or the, sorry, the log or the metal bench soon. Yes, I do, yeah. Um, actually, does anyone know what type of villager suggests the metal one and the log? Oh, Vanessa, that's awesome. I'm glad you're happy with the, uh, with the map. Log is Uchi again, and Metal is Snooty, so... Astrid and Phoebe, of course. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Alicia, we just got the bench, like, just now, and I'm so happy. Oh, wait, Metal is Peppy. So, Blue Bear and... Phoebe. Blue Bear and Phoebe. Yeah, Random, I'm happy it worked as well. Thank you so very much for that. Yeah, I'm gonna demolish the yellow bench and then I guess maybe tomorrow, off stream, I'll probably put down the pretty new bench so that you guys can see it when we next play. All right, so we're gonna get rid of that. Wish there are more Uchi villagers. Mine is moving out, which is okay, because she's an awful spot, but I need those public works projects. I wish there was more Uchis that I really liked, but I think that's the whole appeal of them, is they're not really everyone's cup of tea, I guess. Spend a week and no more tan. Very nice, very nice. Unsweetened blueberry. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> it's hard going off kind of sweet and sugary stuff for sure. Okay, so that that makes me happy. I'm very satisfied with that today. Phoebe did us good. <laughs> Phoebe did us very, very good. Oh, Jonas, I'm not opening gates today. Not today. I don't usually open my gates on stream just because I've run into so many different issues with the uh, internet and having people come over and it just never works out quite right. But maybe someone else in chat would like to play for sure. I'm, I'm, there's usually people in here who are looking to play online. What villagers do I have? Uh, we have Bob, Gaston, Cube, Midge, uh, Colton. Uh, Eric, Kevin, Blue Bear, Phoebe, and Astrid. Let me take off the wetsuit. What's my town theme? I was kind of going for like an enchanted forest theme and it's still a huge, huge work in progress. I think I need more trees, honestly. But uh, we're getting there. <laughs> Merman, yeah, she really, she's like, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I done messed up. Okay, so I'm just gonna sell all these flowers because they're not ones I need in my town right now. Ok, 
Probably mad at the villagers I don't want to move out, move out, but the villagers I want to move out never do, yeah. I think that they know, honestly. They just have some sort of sense and they're like, yeah, I'm not leaving here. I'm really, really happy <laughs> that we got, ooh, not only that public works project, but also a new painting today. I'm glad I found you. Last night I was watching a show on TV called Star Homes. It was pretty amazing. Wait, I'm having a brain flash. We should do the same thing in memory. We can start with a tour of my home. Do you want to come visit? Like, right now? Oh, you're gonna ask for later, aren't you? Gosh darn it. I mean, that's only in 30 minutes, so that's not so bad. Vanessa, thank you so much for the host, by the way. Okay. I haven't been over here yet. I want to check what's going on. Get have real food starting tomorrow. That's awesome. Okay, so it's either copper or booker, I think. You have a unicycle, dude? I love it. I'm gonna get Annabelle to move out since I started my town because her house is right in front of mine and she won't leave. She's like, no. No, this is a good spot. Oh, he has my favorite cabinets, you guys. These ones. These are my favorite ones in the entire game and I love them so much. <laughs> Vanessa, for sure. I had the Halloween theme. It's my town tune and city folk. I thought I was the bomb ignoring the fact that my town looks like one went off. <laughs> oh no, Adam. Oh. Honestly, my old towns probably look terrible. I probably just remember them very differently. Uh, paint splattered seahorse. Welcome on in. Thank you so much for that follow. Okay, so what I want to do now, you guys, I think, is... Oh, we, we've time traveled a lot this week. I don't know if I want to time travel again. I really want to do some bug hunting on the island, but... Earning bells is really, really a good idea, but... Uh, left-handed day today. Happy left-handed day to all the left-handed people. Thank you, I'm left-handed. How do you keep your town? I just got the skin today, I don't wanna... Vanessa, what do you mean, how do you, how do you keep it? You got rainbow from coming back from the island? Oh man, maybe we should go to the island. Guys! Who wants to watch some bug hunting today? Is that something we should do? I'm contemplating either doing some bug hunting now and doing a bit of a longer stream, or maybe streaming some Pokemon later on and having like two different streams. Or maybe doing both. I could do both, honestly. I don't know. People seem to be down for bug hunting. Yeah, let's do bug hunting. Do both. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm gonna do then um, is while I'm saving and time traveling, uh, I want to go on like a five-ish minute break because we've been live for two hours now. Um, so if you guys want to join me in getting up, stretching, getting drinks, preferably water or something healthy for you guys, um, and then when we come back I'll change it to maybe about like 7 or 8 p.m. and we'll do um, We'll do some butt hunting. Yeah. Give me about five-ish minutes, you guys. I'll be be right back.
Welcome back, you guys. Sorry about that. I was, like, going to town on some sour cream and onion chips, and they were really, really good, but I shouldn't be having those. And it was a bad decision. <laughs> but welcome back. Also, you guys, if you guys are, uh, joining up and, uh, playing together in each other's towns, would you guys care to take that to Whispers, please? Just so that it doesn't clog up chat. <laughs> Made your mouth water? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> They're actually mics. I may or may not have kind of opened them while he's been gone. I'll buy a replacement pack, maybe. But, uh, how often does this happen, you guys? We've been to the island twice today. <laughs> oh, well, Storm Saints. Best of luck. Mike will never know. <laughs> There's two types of people. One is Pepper, one is Random. I forgot to grab my phone. I should have messaged Mike. Oh, well. I'm with Pepper. Let's tell Mike. You guys are so mean to me. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Mike will probably laugh. But uh, that brings me... So I think our question of the day, you guys, what is your favorite type of potato chip if you eat chips? I'm not usually a big chip person. I'm just craving stuff right now. Um, what is your favorite type of chip? Could it be flavor or the way it's cooked? Barbecue Pringles. Pringles are the best hands down. They're very good. Salt and vinegar. Contains oven chips. Oh, I'm- oh, okay. I meant like potato chips, like not shit, uh, not fries. <laughs> all dressed, all dressed is always good. Oh, I need to chop these down actually. Now that I don't need these anymore. Actually, do I still need these? Did I catch both the bugs I needed from these? No, there's still a scarab beetle. Oh man. I should have time traveled to 11, but that's okay. I guess these trees will have to stay for now. I didn't get the scarab beetle yet, no. Oh, well. I guess I'll just harvest the fruit and bring it back with me as well. Love most shits, honestly. Kettle, salt, and vinegar would be your favorite? Yeah. There's a flavor here we have that's, I think, called sea salt and black pepper, and it's probably one of my favorites. You don't see it very often, but I really like it if I have chips, which is very rarely. Oh, just scared something away. <laughs> Pikmin lover, you have a fantastic day at work. We'll see you later. I know you're saying you didn't want to go, but I still hope you have a good day. Ooh, true duddles. Very true. Uh, Condor Eyes, hello. How are you doing? Welcome on in. Okay, so we're gonna scare away the ones that we don't need. Also hard to tell part for the fruit beetle for you? Yeah. No, I, I didn't have any luck with it the other night. I'm probably gonna try getting it off stream. Uh, Katie, I might do Pokemon. It really does depend on how long this takes and how long it takes me to like get something to eat for dinner, that kind of stuff. Um, I, I could do Pokemon tonight. I could, it's even more likely tomorrow though, since Mario Kart streams generally aren't that long. Hi Wookie Eevee, how are you doing? Full of gold roses. Very nice. <laughs> Creative emulator. Love it. These guys. None of these are going to be ones that we want anyway. <laughs> Straw cherry. That's fine. That's fine. Explain the appeal of all dress chips. I tried some Ruffles all dressed and I don't get it. Maybe I should try a different brand. Um, I usually go for Ruffles, but honestly, it's 
Not even like all Canadians like it. It's still a personal thing. I used to like all dressed. I haven't had them in a while. Not really my favorite anymore. Start a new town and I have Becky in my town. I need to know right now if she likes sticks. <laughs> you need to change her catchphrase or greeting to sticks the second she asks you, Cece. Ever had it rain on the island? I've heard it does, but it's super rare. I have never heard of that and I don't think- I like, I don't know if that's possible. I'm not gonna lie to you. It- it would go against the whole idea of the island being able to catch all these things that are normally just like purely summer only and it doesn't usually rain that often in the summer. Called voodoo, they're kettle chips but the same general flavor idea. Interesting, interesting. I wouldn't have known. Yeah, Andrew, that's the other thing. Stardew... See, I'm running out of time. Stardew might be... See, tomorrow might either be Stardew or Pokemon or a bit of both, maybe? Maybe I could do a little bit of Mario Kart, do some Stardew, take a break, and then come back for Pokemon. But then again, there is something I want to introduce to our Thursday streams, but I don't think that's gonna be this week. Something tells me. Uh, Strawberry, because there's a bug I need to catch still, but it's not available at this time, and I don't want to chop them down and have to replant them later. No, Pepper, Mike and I are going to uh, the end of summer fair here in Toronto, and we're really excited. It's one of my oh, gosh, sorry, it's one of my favorite things. But uh, it happens the last couple weeks of August and it always signals like, you know, end of summer, you're going back to school or whatever you're doing, so. Not your first little fruit picker. <laughs> uh, Adam, I haven't- I heard about that though, but I haven't been on it since we played, actually. Can I come, Pepper? You need to fly over here, but yes. Ski Legend, yep, that's the one. Although, I have to check the weather forecast. I'm not sure if it's going to be good weather on Friday. I hope it is. Then again, maybe it's better if we go on a bad weather day, because it's like less people. I'm never really good with the crowds. <laughs> Bepper. But yeah, the fair we're going to is kind of known for all the deep fried foods it has, so... Um, stuff like deep fried butter, deep fried Coca-Cola, which I haven't tried, by the way. Um, ice cream, of course, like lots and lots of just bad food. Stargazer's not right now, because the Scare Beetle comes out after 11pm. I'm just bug hunting. Is it Toronto during Canada? It's funny, because you're American. Well, I hope you had fun. Oh man, I'm doing so poorly tonight. I need to slow down. Slow down, Crystal. Oh no, creative emulator. See, I, I I have a bad habit these days of whenever I'm playing on my 3DS, always have it plugged in, no matter what. It has slices they have on sticks. You know what, Skinny Legend? I haven't actually tried those yet. It's one thing I've been eyeing though. So maybe this year. I'm hoping that this year is the first year I'll be able to try a beaver tail for the first time. Which is not an actual beaver tail for non-Canadians, it's fine, I promise. <laughs> um, I think it's some sort of like pastry with like maple syrup I believe on it and like just horribly horribly sweet. Pepper, you were more than accepted, don't worry. <laughs> Possible to plant regular trees on the island if you aren't allowed to bring anything to the island. Um, so Mighty Owl, how you would do that is you go on a tour and you can pick fruit and bring it back from the tour and then plant it on the island. It's a Nutella banana. If they have it, we'll do. Y'all Canadians are weird. <laughs> um, a couple years ago I tried a Bloomin' 
I think it's blooming or blooming onion for the first time, which is really good, which is just like an onion that's been cut open almost in like a floral kind of arrangement and then like deep fried. And that was pretty good. And then last year I had deep fried cheese curds. That was interesting. Max, it was uh, slow poke tails. Yeah. It's not a natural beaver tail, I promise. <laughs> Wanted to change the setup of the regular trees on the island, but I didn't want to cut them down. No worries, no worries. Because they grow back. <laughs> the only thing with the dips, yes, yes, it was very, very good. I got really, really sick on it, unfortunately. It was either that or all the vanilla coke I was drinking, but yeah. <laughs> Um, but generally there's like all the standard fair food, like candy, um, I guess we ca I call it cotton candy. I've seen, I think Pepper, I saw you calling it candy floss, which is really strange to me, but I'll accept it. Um, what else, what else? Um, there's like, uh, corn dogs and like a general fair food. Oh no, Clementine, we'll see you later. You're burning a maple syrup candle, never realize how funny that is before. Oh god. You call it candy floss too? Yeah, I've never heard of that until very recently and I'm like, that's that's strange. It looks nothing like floss. State fair this year. Get an excuse absent from school if I go. Oh, that's nice. Let's chill. Ah, Sarah, there isn't. There isn't. I should probably have one though. Because I get asked that question quite a lot. No worries, Sammy. It's all good. Only a little plastic buckets. Oh, the the candy or cotton candy that I'm used to here comes in like a bag. Not on a not on a cone or anything. Um but I guess that makes it easier for carrying around. And um What else have I had there? There's something called Tiny Tom Donuts, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's itty bitty little donuts. And they're made fresh right in front of you, and they're so good, and I love them. Blueberry? Yeah, I like the blue one as well. Is your childhood? Coming to Canada? No, it's okay, you guys. We're all going on a trip. I'll bring you guys on Friday. Oh, gosh. Sorry, bug. <laughs> Made by a guy named Tom. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they're really, really good. What else do we got? Ever went to Wonderland? Yes. I used to go very frequently when I was... I want to say about 10 or 11, my mom had like seasons passes for a couple years there. Um, but I haven't really been in recent years. Road trip! <laughs> they craving the fair popcorn? Yes. Uh, what I'm really, really looking forward to um, is there's an event that's been held at the CNE for a very long time. It's also held elsewhere in the world. Uh, I believe called the Super Dogs, and what it is is it's essentially a fleet of dogs and their handlers who go through, you know, jumps and hoops and stuff like that. It's all like very showy and flashy, but uh, at least this is how they advertise it. The dogs are all rescue dogs, and the people who are handling them are actually their owners. And I don't know if that's a hundred percent true. But I'm gonna- I'm gonna buy it, and I love it. I love seeing the dogs. You can go up and pet them after, and it's just my favorite thing. Never been to Canada? No, I live in America. I guess I'm a lot closer than when I lived in England. You are, you are. Oh, so cake batter! Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back! You have cow tails? 
And Becky, welcome on in. How are you doing? You guys are just joining us. We're just bug hunting on the island right now. We uh, did our dailies. We got really lucky with a public works project suggestion today. And uh, we're kind of wrapping up the stream, trying to earn a couple more bells. And by a couple, I mean a couple thousand, but like still. <laughs> Oh no, Jacob, I'm sorry. Wait, which 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 game are you downloading? I don't know if you said it earlier. Sammy, I'm gonna take a picture of the Coca-Cola stand for you, don't worry. I'll share pictures on the Discord. Zucker Amiibo card before New Horizons comes out. He's my absolute favorite little boy. I'm pretty sure haven't they have they are I could have sworn they announced that amiibos are compatible. I couldn't see them taking it out, just because it works with the Switch. Didn't eat cotton candy, but where I live, we have a super greasy but super good pastry called Chichi, which is just donut dough with sugar and tell if you want on it. So, so good. That sounds amazing. The tarantula didn't have a net out. Just started the game, not impressed. Oh no, well hopefully you find another one soon. <laughs> Tony, we got the uh, the wooden bench that I've been wanting from As or yeah, sorry, from Phoebe for a very long time. Really, BC, thank you so much for the host. How are you doing? Welcome back. Cowtails, it's white chocolate covered by caramel. At least I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm assuming it is. I don't think it's just like beaver tails. I don't think it's real. Sammy. <laughs> Churros are my favorite. I only had a churro very recently in life. I had never had one before. Let me see, I'm doing pretty good. We're actually kind of talking about like um, fairs and fair food and that kind of stuff if you guys would like to join in on that conversation. Hoping you got the windmill. Yeah, not, not that one unfortunately, but I really did want that bench so I'm not too fussed about it. Okay. I'm gonna jinx myself now, but we've gotten very, very lucky with bugs so far tonight. Oh, random, thank you so much for adding the command. I'm sorry, I don't- <laughs> I, I was gonna add it later on. I didn't want you to navigate through your, your poor internet right now to do that. <laughs> Spice churro, I don't think I have. I don't think I've even heard of it. Oh, you know what I, I just remembered another type of food I really like at the fair is um, ice cream waffle sandwiches, but I can't really have them now. I haven't been able to have them for a couple years because uh, it's essentially, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's two really nice waffle, like square waffles, sandwiching a slab essentially of vanilla ice cream and it's great, but these waffles are warm and ice cream is obviously cold. And my teeth, like, just die. But it's it's one of my favorite things. I don't- and like, I know we were talking about waffles and pancakes yesterday, I think. I don't really like waffles usually, but that's- that's my one exception. Never taste a candy apple though? Aw, oh, because of my horrible overbite, I can't have candy apples, unfortunately. I can't bite them. Oh, really? But see, maybe the bot isn't working properly right now? I'm not sure why it didn't come up. Oh, villagers. I see. Yeah, my teeth are really, really weird about hot and cold, so... But, uh, that was one of my favorite things as a kid, and I could never finish it, and I always have my dad finish it for me, but... But Sims 2 DS, one of the restaurants, they had mint tea. Ice cream, I always thought it looked so good. <laughs> Some video game food honestly has zero right to sound or look as good as it does. I'm looking at you, Final Fantasy XV, by the way. Um, what else do they have? They also have, like, just big things of, like, corn on the cob that you can buy that's, like, roasted right in front of you. Um, 
I don't usually get that personally because I hate that feeling of it stuck in my teeth. Um, they have a lot of places that sell like fudge and stuff like that and I always bring my mom because my mom uh, when she moved to Toronto she started going to the CNE and then she met my dad and brought him to the CNE and they took me every year as well. Um, but she hasn't been able to go recently because her, uh, like, physically she can't do that walking anymore. And it'd be a little bit too much for her. Um, but she still really likes that I still go. And she's always like, alright, you gotta bring me back this, this, and this. And fudge is always one of the things. The Benton, I haven't, but that sounds amazing. No worries, cool. Do you enjoy your nap? Um, and there's also one of the pavilions there, I guess you could call it, has part of the draw of this fair is that it has, um, I guess like an, I don't know how to describe it. It's like an international shopping area. So there's different stalls and they're labeled from wherever these people or these places or these objects are from. Um, and there's one from, it's just labeled UK, I guess, and it sells, like, I guess, like, British sweets and candies and chocolate, and my mom was always really fascinated by that, so. She could pepper. Um, I think it would just, it would be a little bit too much for her, like, we wouldn't be able to stay for too long, if you know what I mean. She would just be like, no, I'm, she'd feel like she's getting people's way, maybe. Getting them back. The week of your birthday? That's good, I'm glad. Just want any flavor of Ben and Jerry's ice cream. It's like 9 p.m. and I'm actually concerned with the possibility of getting kidnapped to go to the store. Oh no, be safe. Be safe if you're going out. Oh, really, BC? I'm glad you enjoy that one. I think it's so cute. Oh, random ghoulie. I don't remember off the top of my head, but they have a lot. They have a lot. I'll try and get some pictures for you guys. Hi, Dimples. How are you doing? Welcome back. British is a color, not sweet. <laughs> uh, I think you guys will definitely be interested in that, but... It's always really, really fun. I wish I could explain it a bit better, because it's, it's a huge thing here, but... So time to get a Switch light so I can play New Horizon when my hubs wants to play Mario Kart. Creative Emulator, same. I don't, like, and it's not even the fact that, like, I have to share my Switch with anyone. It's the fact that I just want a second town. <laughs> and it's a really bad thing to want that, and I really shouldn't be wasting my money like that, but... Tempting. Dimples, I'm doing good. We're talking about fair food. We're actually talking about fair food. If you have any favorites you want to tell us about. I'm packing your suitcase. You guys are like on your way. You want Daisy and Bob as villagers? They're both very, very cute. Lucy's fighting the wall again. What did the wall do? Do I need to come over and smack a wall? Ah, <laughs> uh, CC, I think I did. I think I did. They look very, very nice. Uh, Tony, any fruit in your town that comes out as a perfect fruit, if you have perfect fruits in your town, is your native fruit. Otherwise, I'm not really sure the best way. Try selling different fruit to Reese and see which one sells for the least, I think. Maybe? Lucy versus the wall. It's Wednesday on Wednesday night. Wait. <laughs> Got in her way? Oh my goodness. You tell that wall off, Lucy. Favorite fair food is the giant turkey leg at the Ren Fair in England. We don't really have fairs so much, so I can't really say it. If you have a favorite, yeah. I was thinking turkey legs as well, but I don't know if we... I'm assuming we do have those at the at the fair I'm going to. I just don't know if um, I've ever had it. Yeah, Jim, we're talking about fair food. I'm going to a fair on Friday and I'm really looking forward to it.
I'm trying to like plan- it's honestly sad. I'm planning out the food more so than everything else. There's like events and rides and stuff and I'm just like, nope. I'm all about that food. Corn dog and funnel cake. I love both. I love both. I haven't had both in a long time though. Ah, uh, Seremaster, probably, probably, yeah. Not so great for you? Yeah, I'm not such a huge fan of a lot of meat, so that might be why I haven't gone for it. No worries, Sarah, no worries. Take your time. I forgot to say that you use the Joy-Con to throw a Pokeball, so I thought I meant you just straight up throw the Joy-Con itself. <laughs> oh my goodness. What's my favorite food ever? Oh, I'm all about potatoes. I like- personally, I really love a, a good mashed potato, but... Hmm. I don't know. Something potato-y, probably. Mashed potatoes is up there, but I'm like... I'm thinking about all the fries and stuff that I really like as well. Hi Shadow Dyer, how are you doing? Jacob, we are just going around and catching the expensive beetles, like the ones on my lower screen, just to sell them. That's all we're doing. Eat the Joy-Con at the Bulbasaur. <laughs> Miss Snow State Fair is the best fair I've went to, so nice and relaxing. The food was not too bad either, that's good. potato head new emote idea i mean honestly we just need a straight potato emote but i think someone will uh will uh come after me if i do that <laughs> oh nope you go away thank you grandma would sometimes slice potatoes and cook them they're delicious i just honestly any type of potato i'm down for mike tells me about uh his oma she does like potato pancakes and i've never had that before but that sounds amazing You have the hamster cage in your shops. I'm scared. Oh no. Man, I keep scaring that one away. No, it's cool. Enjoy your nap. We'll see you later. Potatoes mixed in a bit of milk is my favorite. Yep. Man, I oh. I have some potatoes in the kitchen, you guys. I could have mashed potatoes if I really want to for dinner. And like, that's it. Because I'm an adult. And I feed myself. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be given responsibilities like this, you guys. Here's like hash browns. Mix them with egg, then cook some like pancakes. That sounds really good as well. Scallop potatoes. See, I think I've had scallop potatoes once before, and I don't really remember my opinion on it. Or you want asking me to sell her my hamster cage? Oh no! Better post on the food Discord if you do. Of course, of course. Oh no! <laughs> Love hash browns so much. My favorite farm potato. Yeah, I yeah. They're so good. I still can't believe Mike doesn't like potato. Like, he'll eat it, but he's like, yeah, it's not that good. And I'm like, no. No, what's wrong? <laughs> Who hurt you? Potatoes are amazing. Always put cheese in the potato, so tasty. Oh, heck yeah. Cheese makes everything really good, though. Andrew. Stardew is kind of it's kind of food oriented for us I guess. Mike eat your gosh darn potatoes. <laughs> okay apparently this bug doesn't love me so I'm gonna go see how many more I have to catch. Lactose intolerant but cheese is your life? I'm so sorry. <laughs> that that can't be any fun. I have a slight suspicion that Mike might 
have some tendencies to be lactose intolerant. I'm not sure if that's possible. All I know is that occasionally it really doesn't sit well with him, but he refuses to change his diet and find out. <laughs> and I don't blame him, I probably wouldn't either. Oh my god, I'm really bad at- there we go. Uh, so I think we need eight more. No, that's not right. We're going to the doctors. <laughs> Definitely not Gouda. Oh my god, random. Uh, Nada, thank you very much for the follow. Well, come on in. You're more than welcome to join in. Feel free. We were on. <laughs> we're kind of just talking about food at the moment. We were, we were talking about fair food, then we got onto the topic of like potatoes. I don't. We talk about food a little bit too much here. <laughs> welcome on in, though. And Pokemon Crossing, thank you very much for the follow. It's a real pro balone. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to throw him out. Oh no, Pepper. <laughs> Why don't we not talk about food? I just feel like we talk about food so much. This is half the reason why I end stream sometimes is I'm just like, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm going to go eat. Okay, so we need eight more bugs and we can go home, you guys, and sell off these. We should make a decent amount. Uh... Victor? Am I saying your name right? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Okay, actually, Andrew, I I love cheese, don't get me wrong, but I hate that that cheese cheese course in Mario Kart. <laughs> you have pizza and wings tonight, what type of pizza do you got? And you're making mac and cheese for dinner, heck yeah, enjoy it. Hey Legend, thank you so much for hanging out, we'll see you later. I catch a sea camp. I keep finding sea bass. It's 5:30 p.m. and raining. Um, so the sea camp shadow looks just slightly different than the sea bass. It's a little bit more pointy, and I know that's not very helpful if you haven't, you know, seen it before. But keep trying. Keep looking for those big, slightly larger fish, and hopefully you'll find it. It's pronounced Victor. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Awesome. Welcome on in. Uh, in the little... Zara? Am I saying your name right? Welcome on in as well. Thank you so much for the follows. You guys, welcome on in. Hate that cheese land shortcut. I always fail it. Yeah. <laughs> Pepperoni and sausage pizza. Ooh, enjoy it. Enjoy it. I know there's a shark, Storm Saints. I unfortunately uh, don't have... The fishing rod on me, I didn't bother to take it out. I could, I guess, if I really wanted to. Let's go ahead and do that, because it, it's kind of bothering me as I pass by it repeatedly as well. Do we have pineapple and pizza baits here? A little bit, a little bit. I personally don't like it. I like pineapple. You know, um, I don't like it on my pizza, though. But I'm not gonna, like, shun someone if they like it. Just, you know, wonder what happened to their sense of t I'm joking, <laughs> kind of. Is the New Leaf community just dead on Twitch since it's six years ago, or is Animal Crossing usually not popular on Twitch? I've only been playing since May. Um, I'd say the community is actually, considering it, you're absolutely right, it is like a six-year-old game. Um, it's still doing fairly well. Um, but th that being said, I know it's probably going to boom again once New Horizons comes out, so... It's probably just an older game, that's all. When Gracie appears in town, I feel like I've been time-traveling for two years through all the days to get her and she hasn't shown. So she should appear after you've purchased a certain amount at, um, I think it's, was it TIY? Is the upgrade before the Emporium? And once that happens, then she should probably start appearing. I think she randomly comes one day per week. Did 
PUBG cart makes you realize how fast the week goes by. It feels like we we're just. What did the shark go away? Uh, it feels like we were just uh, playing that actually recently. Oh, Sarah, so you, you're kind of specific on where the pineapple goes then. That's interesting. No worries, Rosie. Thank you so much for hanging out. We'll see you later. But yeah, if Gracie is not showing up and you've been going through every single day, then it could potentially be that you haven't spent enough bells in TIY for her to start popping up, I believe. Uh, Kaido, hello, how are you doing? more do we have? We have three at the moment. We need five more and then we can go back and sell. See, I, I said earlier, I'm like, oh guys, we're having really good luck with the bugs tonight. And then of course they all stopped spawning. <laughs> Ever tasted pineapple on pizza? Have I heard that reference so much to the TV show? Oh, Merman, yes. Haven't been on Twitch in forever. Well, welcome back. Welcome back. Panda lover, yeah. <laughs> There's such a huge debate on uh, pineapple pizza. But I can see why. It's kind of a it's kind of a strange thing. Jacob, very nice, very nice. You have to be in the mood for it. It's not often, yeah. Oh, I feel that. There's certain foods where I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna eat this unless I really like there's some reason why I'm eating it usually. Don't come and I spent well over 50k in the shots, which is what the guide said. Yeah. Best of luck, best of luck. She's probably just like, no. No. <laughs> Go spend more. Because it's Gracie, and we all know Gracie. Decide to play it on the Switch Lite? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to. I guess just playing Animal Crossing with you know, a fresh perspective again and like, you know, not knowing everything or not going into the game and being like, okay, I know why this happens when a villager does X, for example. Oh, she prefers like actual Italian pizza better, yeah. You just want the nice furniture? Yeah. I really dislike the crazy fashion check system though. It's so obnoxious to finally get her in your town. <laughs> Adam, it's true. That car washing. I don't think I've ever actually properly done that car washing thing. Like to her standards. Random's like making laws in chat. Okay, so we are currently at 5-6. We got two more. Gloomy, hello, how are you doing? Welcome back. You're in Megan's stream. Oh, that's awesome. I hope she had a fantastic stream. I was lurking in there kind of close, I think, to the beginning of her stream. Sounds good, Jacob. Enjoy your game. Enjoy your game. Come on, game. Just give me two more. That's all I need. There you go. There's one. There we go. Oh, gosh. Ow. <laughs> I cracked my wrist so hard just there. 
It had been sitting funny when I was holding the 3DS. That was painful. I'm sorry if you guys heard that. After workout while playing Tomodachi Life? Of course, that game is hilarious. Is war happening? This is what we get for mentioning. Hardcore food topics. <laughs> That always happens. It's unfortunate. I have a, a stand to hold my 3DS stable and for me to not like bump the capture card wires or anything. But um it it doesn't it, it's not the best position for like my wrists or my hands. And I always end up like cracking them or like ooh to get into really weird positions. <laughs> There we go. Awesome. I think that was the last thing we needed. That shark looks so upset. <laughs> Here, rest, rest. Yeah, I need one that's high enough because it's pretty high up, unfortunately. Welcome back, Mighty Owl. Welcome back. Memory phone, airplane, next. I actually, Sarah, now that you mention it, I have a pillow that would work perfectly for that that I don't use that was from my chair. And that's just kind of hanging up. I should probably bring it down and see if that works next stream. Uh, Soshi, hello, how are you doing? Let's go home and sell off all these bugs, you guys. Uh, if your whole friend coop, you and your boyfriend are the only one who like pineapple and pizza. See, it's good that you two actually like agree on it though, right? Because like Mike likes it and I don't. And at least I think I'm pretty sure he does. Um, so like, when we want to order pizza, we have to like make sure we're both getting something that we both like. Whereas if you both like the same thing, it's really easy. Oh, Sammy, that was that was a sip-worthy comment there. <laughs> Of course you guys couldn't see it, but I did just sit for that one. <laughs> you scare away the orchid. Oh, the orchid mantis, that one that only comes up on the white flowers, right? That one's very annoying. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Sips. <laughs> you don't like sweet things on pizza? You prefer spicy? Yeah, if I had to choose between two, I'd go spicy as well, I think. Oh, Colton's like creeping at the top of the ramp up there. In my party ate with my family and my cousin just beat me in a main game by a split second. Feel bad that I got beat by an 11-year-old in a game that came out when he was born. <laughs> well, the most important thing is you guys are enjoying it. Dark Blargit, Katie. Uh, Sussy so Zimmer, I don't. I know that if you click on your name, I think, or if you click on the cog at the bottom of the chat window, you can change the color of your name. And usually if you change the color, it doesn't change from stream to stream. Scuttle scuttle. We had better not hear a scuttle scuttle. I'm not ready for a tarantula scorpion right now. Lucy snoring. <laughs> Hi, Mermaid Cove. How are you doing today? Welcome on in. Right, I'm gonna walk here just because I really don't want to run into one of those things and get stung or or bit, I guess. Also, you guys, I just remembered. Uh, so I have uploaded our stream from last Thursday, our City Folk stream, when I was tarantula and scorpion hunting. And it's actually really scary, because <laughs> I was running around hunting for them for a little while, and I was saying, like, you know, oh, we, we caught two at the very beginning, and then we didn't find another one. And the scary thing is, is someone pointed out to me that I walked right by one. 
<laughs> at a certain timestamp in that video, and I was just like, how did I not see it? It's very clear. Yeah, so sorry, that's the scuttle scuttle, because I always say that they, they're scuttling around. And I was just like, oh, that's gross. <laughs> so I walked right by one, and I don't think anyone in chat pointed it out either. I could be wrong. You want to see strawberries in New Horizons? That'd be very cute. Storm says it wasn't, it was actually on the YouTube video. So the most recent uh, Throwback Thursday stream we did, um, on the YouTube upload of that stream, through the comments, someone posted a timestamp. It's like 27 minutes in or something like that. And it's a little bit scary. Hi, Kobe. How are you doing? Welcome back. You enjoy the stuff back there, say sorry so much. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I was actually... I'll tell you guys in here, for those who have made it through this stream for so long. Um, I have plans to bring back Animal Crossing population growing to Throwback Thursday. So essentially what I would be doing is doing, say for example, an hour and a half to two hours of City Folk and then moving on to GameCube and saying, for example, that we're going even more into the past. Um, but I don't think that's going to be this week. But I really do. I was watching Hylian play uh, GameCube, I think I said yesterday, and I really want to bring it back again. But it's probably going to be in a slightly different format. See, Katie, I've heard other people say that they want farming. And I don't really know if I really want farming in Animal Crossing, you know? Like, I, I farm a lot in other games. I'm on the fence about it. Or of Amnesia? I don't think it would be Amnesia. I have a slightly different way to stream it um, that I don't want to go too much into. But it would look better. Let's put it that way. So much Animal Crossing. We gotta get all our Animal Crossing hype in. We gotta get the community all together and all riled up for, uh, for New Horizons. Damn it, us for not seeing him. I'm surprised I didn't see him because I was, I was looking actively. You know what, Gloomy? I actually do have Wild World on the Wii U now. Um, through the DS Virtual Console. So it is a possibility. It is a possibility I can bring that back in the future. Or try it in the future, I guess. Oh no, Star Trek, I know you guys are. I gotta get more people, though. <laughs> Random. And Pepper, you both came in with the, with the hipped. On the Wii U? Yes, yes. The Wii U, if you guys still have your Wii U's kicking around, plug them in, turn on the eShop, and check out all the virtual console. They have, like, N64, they have DS, they have Game Boy Advance, they have, like, all the old good stuff. Um, and there isn't such a huge library, but there's, uh, there's Animal Crossing Wild World is on there. <laughs> so that's probably how we're going to be streaming it. Oh, so she not at all. I don't hack, um, but those are just special stumps that you can get if you use the silver axe. Um, it guarantees a special stump. I'm like super hipped. <laughs> What's wrong with face cam today? Nothing's wrong with it per se. I'm just not really feeling like being on camera. I washed my hair earlier and it just wasn't dry before I started stream, so I was just like, man. Occasionally it's nice not to be on camera. Still support for the eShop? Yes. Yes it is. Yeah, so sorry, I accidentally kicked it up earlier because I was frustrated at something. <laughs> Toshi, not at all, not at all. Um, whenever I get people coming in here and being like, oh, you must have hacked, your town looks really nice. I'm like, well, thank you. I take that as a compliment. <laughs> I don't know how to hack. I wish I did. It'd be cool. Keep rocking that twister mat shirt. I could never. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to, if you guys wouldn't mind, I might switch over to Mike in a second here just to replace that path because it's kind of bothering me. She's so much in short trailer that I can't even fathom. What's it gonna happen? It's gonna be crazy. 
Also, someone was mentioning that my path over here was kind of wonky. I think this one might be wonky. No, that's just what it's meant to be. Oh, wait. This one wonky. Yeah, it was that one that was wonky. Okay. Recently got a Wii U. Took tennis years. Right from gaming. I don't know why or what was wrong with me. I've been catching up on all the games. Past the N64. Wii Leaf is the game that got me back into gaming. Anyway, Wii U is your latest use. Fine. I, you know what? I give the Wii U a lot of hate because... I bought it expecting Animal Crossing to be on it, the next Animal Crossing game, and it didn't happen. But, with the titles it has on it, it's not a bad little console. It's quite nice. Yeah, homebrew your- yeah, I've, I've heard how it works before, I'm just a little bit nervous to try it. Also, uh, Nashi? Am I saying your name right? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in here, how are you doing today? Oh, sorry, random. No, it's okay. <laughs> I got it. Oh, Twilight Princess on it. Yes, yes. Wind Waker is also a really solid one to pick up if you haven't already. Um, it, it had a really nice remake on there. Oh, Soshi. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, you guys, is I'm gonna switch on over to Mike's character so I can fix up the past, because that is bothering me a little bit. Modern old 3DS I bought secondhand is great, just for save managing alone? Yeah. Okay. Switch on over to Mike real quick. You guys haven't seen Mike's character in a little while, I just realized. You can finally check his mail. <laughs> I wonder if his hair is going to be messy. It might be. Hi, Norkin. How's it going, dude? Mike lives. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Definitely check out the eShop. There's a lot There's a lot of virtual console stuff on there that's worth a look. Explodes with letters and couches. <laughs> there he is. And his hair is not messed up. Look at his cute little outfit, you guys. Look at him. Oh. Okay, never mind. His he doesn't he doesn't even have that many letters in there. Jeez. Oh what is happening? Okay, that's your Nintendo shirt. That's your Mohawk, right? Okay. Um let me put stuff away. <laughs> uh Narky, I'm sorry to hear that. Having the Mohawk is in my inventory. We still got it, don't worry. It's gonna be for special occasions, I think. Mike doesn't need an axe on him either. He's fine. <laughs> Misguided him. You want the sloppy furniture so bad? Yeah, so a wonderful, wonderful, uh, wonderful viewer helped. Me collect all that which was so much appreciated because i was i was probably gonna take forever to get all that so from mom darling mike on your way home last night or sorry on our way home last night we got a sudden got caught in a sudden rainfall sharing an umbrella made your dad blush such a softy also from mom <laughs> darling mike if things get tough you can always come home your dad's too old-fashioned to say it himself it's father's day mom oh we're gonna get the carnation there uh, to my grippy Mike, it's almost- oh gosh, it's awkward. That's two months ago. <laughs> also from mom. Your mic, a change of decor can change so much more. It's like a redesign for your mind. What do you think this of this wallpaper? I think mom is just sending Mike everything. <laughs> or at least Mike's mom is. Um... Okay. Blueberry again? How come we got two different birthday letters from Blue Bear? Am I just losing it? Why do we get two? From mom again. <laughs> Dear sweet Mike, your dad forgot our wedding anniversary, so I'm feeling kind of blue. But then again, I don't marry him for his memory. Also, hi Alpentar, how are you doing? 
I think the mom letters will be in New Horizons. I wonder if there will be mom letters. I think there will be. There usually have been. But I wonder if it's still going to be letters or not. I know that we saw the mailbox in the trailer, but I kind of felt like, you know, maybe, maybe it might switch to email or something like that. It might have been time traveling, but... Uh, it's summer now, so you'll be able to play outside all day, every day. But don't let your studies fall by the wayside, okay? Okay, Mike just stays inside all day. There is no studying here. Oh! Uh, talk to Heather, thank you so very much for the, uh, for the sub! That's very much appreciated! Can I see your name? Thank you! Love and chat, you guys. Okay. Let me toss out all these. Mike doesn't need all these in his inventory at the moment. You don't want emails? Yeah, I kind of felt like it would go email or text message, but it feels- it doesn't feel Animal Crossing to do that, does it? I've been able to stop by in a while, but I love catching up on YouTube. Thank you so very much! Whether or not you're here or, you know, watching on YouTube, it's all such a huge- such a huge deal to me. <laughs> Thank you. Carnations. All the extra caring space. Oh, I never ever do that. It's such a bad habit of mine. I know I, I'd be better off doing it, but- And there's more. <laughs> oh, Saucy Simmer, I hope you can catch up soon and then, you know, you'll know exactly. But honestly, stuff in town hasn't changed per se that much recently, I feel like. A little bit, but... It was Eric's birthday and we missed that also, because we're bad. <laughs> that they'll keep the letters because they like the old style of communication. It definitely feels like that. Um, in the evenings so I start to feel a hint of coming fall, but it's still going to be hot for a little while longer. I thought it was so cool. If I want to discover you can carry stuff in letters, I usually just carry my tools. Yeah. Shaved ice maker. You see, it's a really good idea. I'm just, I don't know. I'm weird about it. Also, Elochi, how are you doing today? Welcome on in. Hope you're having a good day. Yo, okay, so Mike is here primarily to... Baby, what are you doing? To, uh, fix this. I don't think... I don't think I've dug up any others by accident. I'd like to think you have to build the post office before you receive mail. That's... I thought I heard the scuttle scuttles of a tarantula scorpion. I don't think I did though. Um, that's what I'd like to think is you donate stuff after you've completed the museum. You have to build everything. That's what I'd like to see. Good path mule. <laughs> I think everything is okay. Yeah, we can't fix the plaza because red is still there, but we're gonna have to bring Mike out to fix it later on. Poor Mike, he does his best. Um, so he has a couple bells on him. I don't know if I should keep that on him or if I should just drop it off. I might just drop it off for, uh, my main character, actually. Finally get that post office public works project. See, I'm just- I'm a couple years early, that's all. I know everyone always teases me about that one. <laughs> you guys can't tease me about it anymore. I'm just, you know. Oh, whoops. I'm just ahead of my time. There we go. Robbing him blind. No, he's fine. He's fine. I want to make sure there's no other paths I've accidentally kicked up. Taking money from my boyfriend. It's probably money that I gave him in the first place, mind you, but... Oh, Ghostly, I'm sorry that your stomach's not feeling so good. Does anyone know of any other paths I may have dug up? <laughs> it's possible I've dug up more, I'm just not remembering them. Isn't hers better than a fireplace? That's really cute. That's really cute. Oh, Eric. I'm gonna have coffee with Eric. Oh wait, do I have enough bells? How much is this? We got enough bells, we're good. <laughs> 
What's Eric wearing? It's the, uh, it's a blacksmith outfit. It looks like a, a weird outfit from the back, but from the front, it's really cute. It's like a blacksmith's apron. There we go. This is true Mike right here, drinking coffee. <laughs> I love this hairstyle, by the way, for him. I think it's the cutest thing in the world. It, yeah, it kind of does look like a made outfit, Alpentar. I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> There we go. I like a lot of milk in my coffee. It tastes really delicious, just like coffee flavored milk. That's what I like too. <laughs> All right then, you guys. So I think we might be wrapping up stream here. We have earned some bells. We got a new public works project. We got a new painting today. We've done a lot of work. Um, I'm gonna go see if there's anyone else online who I can give a little bit of a host to, and I hope that it works properly. Um, Flying on Toast is streaming. He's shiny hunting, which I might join him in some shiny hunting. And let's go. I'm not gonna lie, I've been kind of itching to do that, but I also want to play Stardew. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. But I want to thank you all so very much for watching and hanging out today, whether you've been lurking or chatting or just came in just now. Um, and I will be back tomorrow for some uh, Ouija Cart Wednesdays, as well as maybe either some Stardew or Pokemon in the afternoon. We'll have to see you in the evening. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.